Okay, and we're back, everybody. We're gonna go ahead and do some more Yu-Gi-Oh for the night now. We're gonna take it easy, unwind, and use more of this cheesy deck I built. Let me see here. I don't recall who I talked to at the end of last time. It might be a good idea to just go to bed, I suppose. I was just kind of grinding points, and I, but I do need to pass the time a bit so we can get to the stuff with Chaz. If I could just get past there, that would be great. Bully Cyrus? Not right now. Advance time. End the day. Yeah, move time forward. Oh, it's a test? What's this? You have been selected, uh... Oh, this thing again. Okay. Isn't this super rare? This is like the third time. Okay. All right, then. That happened again. You've been randomly selected for free money. Oh, the cat's here. Come here. Pat his head. He didn't seem to like that. Okay, we'll try it again, then. We'll just give him a sandwich. How about that? He seems to really like you. Okay, perfect. So we got the cat. And there's apparently a test today. So chat, did you study? I need you all to give me answers. We're gonna cheat. We're gonna cheat our way to the obelisk dorm. Go talk to Alexis. Good morning. Nice day, isn't it? Meow. Oh, Pharaoh. What do you want to talk about? Dueling, of course. What else do we do with that? You had a great talk. Do I have anything you want? I don't recall if she likes these. Bastion probably does. And she seems to like all vegetables. And there's Duran over there. I'll get him one day. One day, I will just... Hmm. And because Zane's boring, he only either wants the plain sandwiches or the golden sandwiches. Can't tell he's really starting to respect his opponents. Like you and Jaden, he should be fine. So all I can really do for now is up his hearts through talking with the cat. Woody, final duel. There's Chaz. He's just gonna ignore me. To the cliffs. There he is. Hey, that's why I come here to practice my dueling. Okay, he's still saying the same stuff. He had a great talk. Alright, I'm gonna try giving him the salad. Top grade salad sandwich. You're giving this to me. It's been in my back pocket for a week. Oh, this is my favorite, thanks. Okay, that worked. Don't really want to particularly duel anyone here. Can you even change dorm in this one? I don't even know. I'm not honestly not sure if that's a thing. I'm gonna duel this guy. I want an excuse to use my cheesy deck. I need to go talk to that guy at the classroom. It's at any point during the day, right? Class is about to begin when I leave this area now, anyway. Or was it 7.45? I think it was 7.45, maybe. Horror of the Black Light. Send it out. I'm feeling powerful, chat. We're making progress in Blue Kaizo, and I have an annoyingly gimmicky deck. What more could you ask for? Let's go. Pot of Greed, let's go. All right. Hmm. Well then. Do I want to chain energy already? Of course I do. It's half the fun. Go on. Go on. Pay your life point cost. Giant flea. That's right. Go on, attack it. See if I care. I may take the damage now, but it's fine. Ah. 
Oh, there's Skull Invitation. Darn. I got greedy. I wanted to go for it right away. I suppose I could go with this now. Destroy all monsters, both players on the field. Or, sorry, destroy all monsters on the field. Both players pick up five cards atop their decks. Special summon all level four or lower monster cards among them. This won't go through the, the hand, right? Yeah, okay. The rest of the cards picked up are added to the hand. So yeah, I should just go with this now and then activate Skull Invitation right away. He has the life point lead, but I'll be all right. Yeah, I want to activate this, please. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. I got the test. Worry about that after. Nice. Perfect. Ooh, Princess of Sarugi. Nice. Okay, this is fine. We're taking that lead back, chat. We're taking that lead back. God, I love chain energy. I love how annoying it is, but if it's the only thing I get, putting it down is risky, as you've seen. So now throwing down Needleworm would be good, uh, as well as Gravekeeper. Hmm. I'm gonna... Yeah, chain energy now. It's like, I want to put that down after having all this stuff, but I get greedy. First, let's do this. Mm, at least this one for now. We'll see next turn. So what if he heavy storms or dust tornadoes one of them? Then it becomes a pain in the ass. Just in case something goes wrong, you know? Would he be willing to pay the cost? But then I don't have a way to finish. Burning land would be for that. I need to keep my thing- I'm just gonna end my turn now and see what happens. I'm not losing game. I'm not losing game. Invitation to the skeletal party. I love this. Just discard five cards from the top of your deck. All right. Another gravekeeper servant. Okay. I have the light point life point lead, so let's see, yeah, if I, even if I spend a thousand now. So that can whittle him down depending on what he does. This can probably reflect damage as well. Let me see here. Oh yeah, for sure. Plus I can bounce to his hand, he won't be able to summon it again, I hope. So I'll do that. I'll pay my cost, I'll put this down, and I think I should have it in. We're just getting warmed up. Uh... Good job, hero. Good job. Good job, hero. <laughs> what a waste of his turn. Okay, let's end turn now. We're still saving up dual points so I can get the other pieces for this deck to make it more consistent. It is so satisfying to just, like, watch their whole life points drain like that. Is he going for the attack? Bro, you can't... Bro, you don't have enough life points for that. Does he know that doing this is going to make him lose? like he wants to go for the kills. Let him. He, uh, okay. He, he, all right. The AI won't attack when it knows Toll is on the field, but Skull Invitation and Gravekeeper Servant. 225. This deck is really fun to play, honestly. I'm enjoying it a lot. Thought I was gonna win. No, you did not. Not for a second were you going to win. Okay, let's go talk to the Slifer boys. Hey guys. No one to talk to. I see them right here. Sweet, today is Professor that guy's class.
You had a great talk. Great talk, Jaden. Um... Hot pepper sandwich, maybe? Okay, he likes it. Cyrus. Jaden can learn a thing or two from me. Yes, he could. You guys seem to enjoy dueling. It's not that I hate dueling, but for me, it's different somehow. Why is that, you think? Okay, he doesn't want to talk today. Just give him the spicy fish egg sandwich. Mmm, not bad. I don't really have anything for Cyrus. Right? Uh, no, not really. I need to buy more. These stairs don't work. All right, let me go to the classroom so I can get my uh, free points. Prowler's there. Got selected as a recommended duelist. Speak up. This music is so happy for this occasion. Okay. Slugging Saturn. Nova, Living and Beyond. Uh, let's duel this guy. I like your courage standing up against me. I'll teach you how to duel. Let's keep farming them points and then go for the big task. Yeah, big test. Yep, I want to go first. We're about to have some fun. Okay, okay, just desserts is the finisher. This is for reviving something. Should probably just set down Cyber Jar and let him attack into it like a chump. Mm, I could always recruit first. That would let me get like a. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I should wait and not turn one Cyber Jar. Let's throw these down. I'll do this first. Go on. Go on. What are you gonna do? Pot of Greed allows you to draw two cards, doesn't it? Well, Pot of Greed goes to the graveyard after you use it, does it not? You got nothing. Ooh, there's Chain Energy now. Okay, so now I can set Cyber Jar. And, all right, chat, let's watch the magic happen. Okay, the Toll Buddy. Thunder Dragon. He had to pay Chain Energy to discard it from his hand, too. That counts? I didn't realize that. No, not emergency provisions. God, stop it. Stop it, Nova. Oh. He had a cyber jar. Oh. And now he's got a morphing jar. Card destruction. Go right ahead, my dude. The no. And because I'm not playing it from my hand, I don't have to pay the chain energy cost. Ooh. We got two ladies on the field. Five hundred. Bro is really going for Thunder Dragons in 2006. Pay the toll! <laughs> oh god, do I love this. Set my drink down. Oh, 
Well then, uh, if I flip these two, he just takes, he's gonna take 3,000. <laughs> That's great. I suppose I should just set this for now, pay my cost, it's fine. Need to throw no down. Surprise strike. Princess of Sarugi is like one of the first flip effect monsters, right? It looks like it's got that really old, like, Yu-Gi-Oh art style. There we go. She's anime, but she's not quite that anime. Oh no, stop. You can't play a single card anymore. Bro, you just lost. You just lost with that. Got him. 332, his duelist bonus is 200. Exactly zero life point bonus. Nice. I lost, but I'll get better as, re as a result. Okay. I don't remember what your deck was. I haven't fought this teacher before. I've never seen him. I mean, I've got tons of points anyway. I got nothing to lose. Let's just try. Normally, these guys are pretty difficult, though. Not now. Come back later. Oh, all right, then. Want to kill time until 8 a.m. to attend class? No. Okay. Phoenix's dream. Oh, you. Andrea, that's a dinosaur lady. Marcel, have I dueled this guy? Who is he? Royal Revolution. I don't remember what yours was. Let's go. I should be able to spend lots of cash now. Second to go. First to go. We'll go on. Okay. Yeah, some of these cards I could definitely still do without. Easily replace some of these. I don't need any more. Well. He's probably gonna take reflect damage bopping into this anyway. Let's go. I don't need the Dark Scorpions, like, at all. We don't need good old Don Zalug. Uh, hang on a second, what? Each time battle, uh, damage except battle damage is reflected to your opponent's life points. Reflect three damage to your opponent's life points. Oh, that's actually really bad for me. That's a card I need. That's a card I need in this deck. I feel a steeze. Hang on. Okay, I muted in time. That was a powerful one. When this card is sent directly from your hand to the graveyard by the effect of a card controlled by your opponent, inflict 2,000 points of damage to your opponent's life points. Ooh, he might be able to counter me. Look at this. Okay, he's gonna take reflect damage. But let's put up the skull invitation. I don't need the shadow spell him. And we're gonna bounce it back to the hand, I guess. Or rather... Yeah, just cost him his monster. I'll just put the spell card back down on main phase two. No. No, no, no. I could just attack him with this. Hmm. Top of their deck to the graveyard. May as well make use of this thing while we still have it. Nightmare Wheel. Select one monster your post out of the field as long as the card remains face up. The select monster cannot attack or change its position. Journey to your standby phase. This card inflicts 500 points damage to your opponent's life points. Ah. He's countering my strategy with another stupid one, chat. Look at him go. Well, I guess the joke's on me. Let's see if he can win. Dark Room of Nightmare does that even more. Well, he destroyed the monster, so good for that. I don't have to worry anymore. 
I gotta get my own copy of uh, Dark Room of Nightmare. That would go so well in, the, in this deck, wouldn't it? Except in the case of um, Toll and Chain Energy, like, that's not effect damage. It's it, They're paying a cost, so... It's not gonna combo with those when, he, when it subtracts out of that. Important to keep that in mind. I guess I'll just throw my bears down, because why not? Damn, I don't have my best pieces with this one. Just one Skull Invitation. I suppose I could... Nah, I'll let him kill this one. I'll take the extra damage, but whatever. gonna go ahead and put a Yomi ship because he's dumb and won't attack into it. Yep, no reason to do that. There's chain energy, okay. No cards I need to revive. I'll just throw this down. And this should hopefully give me the lead I need. One. Yeah, I see he's dumb. He attacks the Yomi ship. There we go. That's what we want to see. I'm taking the extra damage, though. That's for sure. Pay the cost. Pay the cost. Nightmare Steel Cage, bro, what a waste. He's still going. Another Skull Invitation. Ah, oh, if I put this down, I'm not gonna have room anymore. Damn, what a pain. I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait. Not like he's gonna be able to attack right now anyway. Not that, a, not that it'll do anything. This card is sent directly from the gra to the graveyard by the effect of a card controlled by your opponent. Increase your life points by 2,000. Okay, don't need to negate that. Okay, there's this thing here. Hmm. Could just set that. What do I got in here? I don't have all, like, my best flip effect monsters yet. What a pain. I'll pay the cost and just throw you down for now. It's fine. Is Dark Room of Nightmare just super late game? That would suck. He's adding more damage onto my own effect. Yep, go ahead. Go ahead and summon it. Because I know you're silly enough to attack into it anyway. This is fine. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Ugh. That Dark Room of Nightmare is really roughing me up. Conscription. Pick up the top card of your opponent's deck. If it can be normal summon, special summon it to your side of the field. If not, add that card to your opponent's hand. Okay. Go ahead. Hey! Thanks, buddy. Okay. Ah, oh, darn. Sharing the pain, I'll have to pay the cost, and then I'll just take a bunch of extra damage. I got a pot of greed. Pay the chain energy. I might lose this now. Princess of Sarugi. Well, it doesn't have enough face downs now. Damn. Hmm. What a pain. 
I set this down. What do I do? Do I set this down and hope he just has enough, uh... I'll have enough face downs for me to do this on? What a pain. Then when she gets sent to the graveyard, though... I'm gonna take the skull invitation damage. I wonder if I should just clog my field and hope for the best. Ah, YOLO. It's only a Slifer duel. Who cares? I'm gonna go for it. Go big or go home, chat. I can always activate no or stop a deadly attack if needed. Okay, he's discarding. Pay the cost. I'll flip this up on my own terms, thank you very much. Just need to get the life point lead. What? You're playing Toll. Buddy. Buddy, this is my game. What are you doing? I need him to lower his life points enough, then I'll flip the princess when he's got just enough for me to burn him. Let's go. Okay. 1,500 on that now. My hand gets too clogged, I'm gonna have to discard. So close. Gonna negate the summon and destroy it. He'll take 300. Put him at 1600, but he's gonna be attacks first. I'll lose enough, and I pretty much got him. Yep. Yeah. He's gotta pay his own toll as well. Fool. Never stood a chance. Level bonus, turn bonus, opponent's turn, finish bonus, reversal. Reversal, like I was losing. Getty's cheer, we did it again. Okay. I want to dual Prowler again. Let's go do stuff out here. Everybody moved around yet? You moved around. Graduating student duels people, yada yada yada. We know how this goes. Okay, great talk. I should probably go to the store now and buy more sandwiches. Alright, chat, get ready to help me cheat on the test, assuming it's anything like the ones in Duel Academy. X button anytime you like. Steak sandwich. Now would be a good time to try and spend some money to get some more, um... Some more stuff for my deck. What else was I going for? I better take a look. I don't fully remember what I was doing last time, a few days ago. Alright, shrimp. Gimme, gimme. Salmon sandwich. Tell me you'll like that. Want some cards? Yes, I do. Oh, is that new? Spice of Duel. It says, Tune, Spirit, Union, too complex for my brain. I get the feeling I don't want to open any of these. Right now, anyway. I don't really want to be making those. So what pack was I working on? I think I also needed more flip effects as well, didn't I? More continuous. I wanted um, a second chain energy, that's for sure. Let's give this a go. Another toll. Don't need that. Another burning land. A uh, second burning land might not be bad. Anti spell fragrance. Okay. 
And I still need Morphing Jar, that's right. I only have Cyber Jar. Try 500 of this. Oh, another Penguin Soldier. That thing, the green Kappa. Oh, another Spear Cretan. I think I already put two in the deck. That thing. Man Eater Bug. Invader of the Throne. Select one monster your opponent's side of the field and switch control with this card. Cannot be activated during the battle phase, so yeah, we'll be. Don't have all the cards in this still, but still, I want them flip effects. Penguin is a friend, that's right. All right let's try 500 here. Oh, there it is! Morphing Jar. The deck keeps getting more toxic, chat. Jar is limited to one, doesn't matter if I get any more now. Mask of Darkness. Another Princess, I already got my third one though. Yeah, limited to one. Let's Poison Mummy. Inflict 500 damage to your opponent's life points. I mean, not the worst thing to throw in there. It's likely to do some Reflect damage as well. Better than Dark Scorpions. And up over here is what? Uh, water pack. I already got what I need from that. Okay, to the deck menu. Let's go. Edit. First, let's get more of what I need in there. Put my other copy of Burning Land in there. Ah, uh, Morphing Jar. Let me go down to M. Morphing Jar, where's that smile? Where's that smile? It's longer down. Morphing Jar, Morphing Jar. Oh, there it is. Okay. Dark Scorpion can go. Got two Spear Cretans. One no. Another Burning Land in there. Oh yeah, the Reflect Slime. Forgot about that. What else can we go here? I don't need to rename the deck. That doesn't matter, man. Here we go. Share the pain. Okay, two of these. I still want another chain energy. Car destruction's in there because it's annoying as heck. There we go. I almost feel like I got too many of these grizzlies now. They're just kind of clogging my field when I'm trying to do other stuff. But get rid of you first. Let me see here. Stick tomatoes not needed. Uh, hang on a second. How many needle worms do I have? Okay, two. Um, I need another just desserts. I wouldn't mind that. Let me see if I can get more. Want some cards? Yes, I do. I got 96 of the these things here. Try another five. Needleworm is extremely good. Honey, honey. Man eater bug. Nothing good here. I could throw in that poison mummy. Surprise that Princess of Sarugi is a freaking common. Wow, that was lame. I want that third needle worm. It's so toxic and I want it. Another cyber jar, but it's banned. Well, limited to one. Another poison mummy. Another poison mummy. And then the noble man eater bug. Yeah, cyber jar, limited to one. 
Ah. Okay, give me two more, no, three more of these. And gonna go for another chain energy. As well. Uh, what was the other one I really wanted to go for? I didn't need any equip spells. I don't know. Give me one of these. Let's see what we got. Trap Dust Shoot. Vengeful Spirit. Another Umi. Gravity Bind. That's a thing, but they don't pay life points like they do a toll, so I don't really want that. So many princesses of Sarugi. There's another morphing jar. I want Needleworm, come on. Damn. Well, alright then. That's that. For now, I think maybe I'll change... Hang on. Let me find the poison mummy. I'll put that in. That 500 can make a world of difference, depending on how this goes. Protect the sanctuary. B -b 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 I'm looking around. There's another penguin soldier. Don't know if I want that. Quick damage. I think just one is fine for penguin soldier, maybe. I'm trying to remember what its art looked like. Poison. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let me put in three of these like a chump and see what happens. I don't really need you, in all honesty. And I'll get rid of one of the bears. His sh shadow spell actually kind of takes up a bit of space, doesn't it? Hmm, we'll see. Sort by card frame. Hmm. This could be fine for now, maybe. We still have a bear chat. Bears are friends, don't worry about them. Let's try this now. See how it goes. All right. Let's test on you. You want to duel for sure? Let's duel, bro. We always have teddies in the frickin' in the deck now. You gotta love the bears, chat. If you don't like bears on this stream, you know what happens, don't you? I unleash the teddy urses on you. I just have to reach over and push a button, and then bam, the bears start coming. Oh, Needleworm. Terraforming. Okay. It's the law here. Pandemonium. Oh, that thing. Look at that crusty model of the people in front of the torch. The ritual thing, whatever it is. Zero the man? Okay. Speaking of bears, chat. What if I were to put a teddy on screen right now? Heck yeah, look at that bear. Look at that little bear. You love the little friend. He's bopping to the music. Okay, bear's gone. Time to duel. What do we got? So I don't have all my pieces, but I do have some shenanigans. Okay. Can always just negate his ritual summon after he sets it up. That'd be funny. Could let him attack into Yomi ship. What's your attack here? 1400 and... Now either player has to pay life points during their standby phase for arching monsters. Each time a player's archfiend monsters are sent, destroyed and sent to the graveyard, except as a result of battle, that player can select one archfiend monster from their deck that has a lower level than the destroyed card and add to their hand. Okay. Well, I'm not planning to attack you by battle. Hmm, I feel like I should set up Cyber Jar first and flood the field once he attacks me. And then Shallow Grave it and do it again. Do I even need no? 
I'm kind of worried he might just storm it, even though he just put his field spell down. I can't make myself a Teddy Ursa VTuber. I'd get sued because I don't own Teddy Ursa. All I can do is own merchandise and talk about how wholesome it is. Okay. He got rid of his pieces. Seriously, is it kind of unnerving everyone how those people in the field spell background are just perfectly still? That looks so off. But the torch is... that big fire's going. Just desserts? Ah, heck yeah. Let me set up my flip effect monsters with this. Burning land. Ooh, let's go. Take reflect damage and poison mummy damage. See what I mean? Look at that. That's not bad. It's a little bit of extra damage. Okay. Let's go all in, why don't we? Okay, pot of greed. Hang on a second. I just realized something. I never... I totally forgot the field spell counts for this slot. I never really thought about that. This doesn't come up too often when I use this. Let's set up Burning Land. Can't attack without that now. Just desserts as well. We can do. We can hit him for easy damage on that. Activate Gravekeeper. Don't need Princess yet. I don't have Skull Invitation. Hmm. I could just do this and put down Cyberjar again. Because why the hell not? And then next turn, flip up to... So he's got like the 1500 for the Just Desserts damage. Because he's summoning a free beast as well. I'm going to have to discard. Unless I put stuff down. So... All monsters on the field are about to get destroyed when Cyberjar goes up, so... Hang on a second. It has to be destroyed for that to work. This one's not as important, so I'll just throw it down. This will destroy his field spell, I know, but... Eh, it moves his account for Sarugi, but it's not a big deal. I'll take the 500 anyway. All right. Turn ending. He's activating Pandemonium again. And before he... Yeah, I'll just activate this now. Pandemonium. Excellent. Watch Bear. He's got a bear? Yeah, I did put monsters on the field. I could have hit him for an extra 500. Go ahead, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go ahead, bro. Okay, we're flipping this. Summon this. Um, I guess this is going back down. I get another one. Okay, perfect. Take a little burning land damage, and that's okay. He didn't attack the cyber jar. Well, I guess I may as well activate the cyber jar, why don't I? Let's go. All right. Bop the whole field. More monsters, chat. More monsters. Another burning land. A thousand damage per turn. Does that sound like fun to you, chat? That sounds like fun to me. Especially when we put this down. Do it again. I may not have skull invitation ready, but... Mm, just Yomi ship. He's not... He's probably going to throw some cards face down. Hit him a little hard here. Might as well put one of the princesses down. I got to do something. 
I'm gonna have to discard, but... Well, that's fine. I don't need to reflect slime for this at all. Okay. Terraforming. Sanctuary in the sky. That's another one right there. He's paying more life points. <laughs> he's making this, he's speeding this up for me. Go ahead. Damn, if only I had Skull Invitation or Chain Energy active too. That'd just be a final nail in his coffin there. Discard everything. Another thousand damage. May have cost. He's gonna hit me with zero now. Of course he is. That's fine. I still have the lead. I can just throw down Penguin and, and uh... He just bops Zira back to his hand. He has no effect. Other than its ritual summon condition. And he can't beat over Penguin, so that's good. He could also... He could summon something else, though, for all I know. Hmm. Hmm. This could go very, very poorly if he beats over Penguin. <laughs> oh, boy. If I put down Princess... Uh, it's not... No, he's not gonna... He's gonna have enough life points. Damn, I might lose now. Can't just share the pain it away. I'm gonna have to do this and set no. see here. Okay, take your reflect damage. Bounce you. Our destruction. All I have to do is just end my turn after setting Princess now, and I win. Not like I can activate anything now. Got him. And now he's just got 300 remaining. He's doing zero ritual again. Uh... Doesn't matter, he just has to attack into Princess and I win. Go ahead. For it. Come on. Don't want to activate that. Not yet. Not yet. I don't think it's needed. Two monsters. Uh-oh. Uh, there's still one card. His, his field spell will cover it anyway. It's fine. He just has to attack into Princess. He just has to attack into Princess. Come on. Air flip effect goes off. I win. Okay, beautiful. 269, 329. Okay, good. How is this guy more difficult than the other ones there? Well, next time, I'll see ya. Let's go ahead and play some more now, chat. Forgotten words. Heaven and hell, yeah, I just dueled you. Class is gonna begin soon, and it's gonna be time for a test. I got some sandwiches, so I guess I could go give them to people today. Bastion's at his dorm, so I can give him stuff again, I think, maybe? I've been up day and night doing research. I'm trying to create a deck to rival yours. We want to talk about dueling, of course. I guess I'll give him this. It's just gonna clog up my inventory for the time being. 
Anyways, chat, let's go do a test. It's time for class. Steak sandwich sounds nice about now. We have a fun, fun, fun test today. There are two parts, written and practical. Oh no, you're gonna make me duel at Duel Academy? Let's start off with the written exam. It's multiple choice, select the correct answer. The written exam begins now. Oh boy. Question one. What do you call taking cards from your deck? Oh, it's... Oh, okay. I thought this was gonna be, uh, something stupid like the Duel Academy test. <laughs> uh, drawing? Question two. What spell remains on the field after activation? Continuous, right? Residual just goes to the graveyard. Cont cont contiguous spell. Okay. Annoying spell. <laughs> oh my goodness. Annoying spell. Yeah, for sure. Continuous, of course, chat. All right, Teddies, it's lesson time. Come on. Dueling three times to get a winner is called a uh, match. Question four. What is the highest level a monster card can have? It was 12, right? Don't only, like, the Egyptian gods have that, or just some other random boss monsters? Question five. Limited card. How many copies can you have and can the deck have? Uh, it's one, because semi-limited is two. All right. Written exam is over. There's a lot of them that have 12 now? Okay. Next is the practical exam. If you're ready, go to the dual field. Your opponent is already waiting. I have a cat with me. Wait, isn't that the tutorial guy? When you're ready, talk to your opponent. Looks like it's me and you in the exam, and there's no way I'm planning to fail. Here I go. Duel Academy is cutthroat. They make us duel, and whoever lives, uh, whoever has remaining life points gets to live. That's how it goes. Heck yeah, I can take the cat to class. And this dude's... Like, he has the tutorial deck. I really gotta do this? One of the questions can be tricky. Ooh, new music. Let me turn this up. Ooh. One of the questions can be tricky. It says, it asks you if Ojama Blue is a card, and at this point, it wasn't. Oh, I see. I see. Interesting. Yeah, chat. Okay. Let's draw some cards first. Hmm. I feel like I could put Metal Reflect Slime down to one, because you're not going to attack into it. It's just going to be a wall most of the time. A little risky, but fine. I should throw down Cyber Jar and get ready to set up my stuff. Do I want the Burning Land right away? Yes, I do, because I'm greedy. Let's go. Cyber Jar will be fine. Just go ahead. It's not like he's got Nobleman. And then he plays Nobleman. Aquamador in attack mode. Alright. Ooh, he's got slime. Too bad I don't care. Flying penguin. Share the pain. Servant. No. Burning land. Destruction. Go ahead. Yeah, maybe I should have put the slime down. I know. <laughs> Be first to admit I should have did that. Now I guess I'll do this. Yeah, yeah, burn me. I might lose to the guy now, and that's gonna be real sad if I do. So then... Hmm, now I need the lead, for sure. 
I also need a refresh of my hand is what I need. Put this up so we literally cannot attack. I drew, I ended up like drawing no monsters to put down through Cyber Jar and I just was caught off guard by that. Mm, do I want the second Burning Land now? I don't even know. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be cheesy. <sighs> Would I even need to use no against this guy? Oh, <laughs> now I'm... Now I'm getting... I put myself in a dumb situation, didn't I? Okay. Do I card destruction? What if I don't get what I need? I have to make land extra burn. Mm. But then how would I win the, the thing for sure? All right, who's I gonna do? Just go for it. I'm gonna YOLO. <laughs> I'm throw it all away. Oh, goody. Now I don't have the space, and he needs to pay the toll to attack. He's gonna need to play the thing, play cards. All right. I won't flip up Burning Land yet. Make sure I have the lead first, just in case something goes wrong. Gosh, I put myself in such a situation, didn't I? Poison Mummy hits me harder. I can't believe I let Gillian put me in this damn situation. Okay, now I have the lead. I don't even need to throw down Needleworm. He can't beat over this. I don't think he has a way to do that. Shallow Grave can't even do that. Alright, and now we wait. Gillian's burning alive. Amphibian Beast can't beat over that. Good job, silly. Now we got my turn. Something's gonna have to go to the graveyard after. Could put this down, then just put Mummy up again. Speed things up. I gotta pay my 500 cost, but it'll work. You had to clean up after your cat? Oh, is the cat sick? Sorry. Give it a head, Pat. And some treats if uh, uh, if that that's good right now. I don't know. I don't have any cats. I imagine there's something you can give them when they're sick. Stim pack. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna beat over me. Oh, I got greedy. I'm gonna eat crap for it now. <laughs> okay. You can't summon anything. I could just, I could put Cyber Jar down. I could put Cyber Jar, yeah. <laughs> I could just put Cyber Jar and then he can't do anything. <laughs> I can't believe I let he, him put me in this situation. What? There you go, bro. Now I need to make sure I get my flips. I have to, statistically, there's no way I can't. I hope. Let's go. Come on. Ooh, here we go. I could do it all again. Activate the effect of Penguin Soldier. Yeah, sure, why not? Put him back to your hands. And then you're gonna have to discard or pay more chain energy to play them. Yeah. I'm sorry, chap. What was that? 
Was I losing? Ooh. Listen to this music chat. Yeah, oh, it's gone. Okay. I win. Teddy Bear is jamming today. Jellyfish. You got spear creating again. Uh, uh, uh. Just put poison mummy and finish him off. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. You think I'm scared of that? Go ahead. That puts it in attack mode. I don't need to do that. He's literally lost. Died to the effect of poison mummy. Come at chat. I passed the test. Who was losing? I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't losing. Did you see a reversal bonus? Don't think so. Stop. You finished all the exams. I'll mail you your results tomorrow. You're free to go. 18th of May. Alright, automatically next day. You got 100%. Wonderful. I'm speechless. Look at that, chat. You think I'm a bad duelist? If I was a bad duelist, then how did I get 100% on the test? Checkmate, duelists. There you go. And you get nothing for 100%, yeah. I got to rub it in Gillian's face. No matter how skilled you become, you must always remember the importance of basics. Meow. Pet his head. He didn't seem to like it. Okay, Mr. Funny Man. You like this? Okay. Got some DP from all that. Got some sandwiches to give out. Hide, and then there's you. Maki, you're the one with Thousand Eyes Restricted Metamorphosis, right? I don't want to duel her. So you've noticed, too, Cyrus really become aggressive in his duels. It's quite a change from before. Of course, he still doesn't have enough confidence, but I'm sure that will come in time. Barrow. Alright, let's duel Zane. I want to duel Zane again. Dueling him's another good way to build up his friendship, I guess. There we go. Lose. Win. First to go. Yeah, I can go for a little bit longer right now. Then I gotta, I gotta unexpectedly head out. I can do another short session of this next time and just edit them together for the usual length upload. Because I don't want to just upload like a one, one and a half hour episode. Okay. So we put one card face down. There's my reflect slime that I definitely need. I don't have to worry about cyber sh sh cyber jar shenanigans right now. Hmm. Yeah, let's set everything up and go for it. I want him to attack, so I don't want to set you up yet. Could be emergency backup. You could always just throw down his cyber end garbage, so. All right, chat. Get ready for heavy storm to ruin my day, but that's all right, because that, then it would brighten Zane's day. Yeah, yeah, that's about what I expected. That's about what I deserve. If this card attacks face up level three, lower monster destroy that monster with this card's effect without applying damage calculation. Of course, he would have Heavy Storm in his opening hand. His one copy he's allowed per deck. I don't know about you, chat, but I think this is going just fine. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Hmm, should I just go for an attack on him? If he special summons Cyber Dragon, he can beat over me, but I could poke him. I could poke him and save Princess for a turn. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna play it safe. Don't Cyber Dragon. Okay, good thing I didn't go to attack mode. Perfect. Uh, actually, I should activate this after she goes to the grave. I was hoping he put more face downs first, but oh well. Uh, actually, hang on, no, don't activate that yet. Okay, too. All right, I'm in trouble. I blew my opening hand because he I it got heavy stormed. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's see what he does next. Oh, no. Really? Really? You get that now? I might as well just surrender. Oh, man. Did he have... He got me on everything. Well... I got him on this. According to life point count, I am still technically winning. For one turn. Uh, well, I can't do much with this right now, can I? <laughs> Draw the same amount of cards that they, that they discarded. I have nothing. Go ahead, Zane, hit me. Yeah, I got no out. I'm dead. He absolutely is gonna slaughter me now. It's all up to this. Pot of greed, let's go. Spear Cretan. Oh, I don't got... Mmm, I could throw down Penguin and bounce Jinzo, but then he can just put it back, right? Just off for one more turn at least, maybe. He's got a tribute, so let's go. Yeah, go ahead and summon yours, too. Go ahead and attack into it. No, he's attacking with Jinzo. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Now he can finish me with the other ones. So, yeah, I got one turn to turn it around. I absolutely lost. Absolutely. Skull Invitation even would have been to save me. All I can do is loop one bear. All I can do is card destruction and hope I get Pot of Greed and then get to something good, but it's over. Oh, this this well, this one's absolutely flubbed. Damn. It's over. Cyber Jar, yeah, Cyber Jar might have saved me. See, with Morphing Jar in the deck, I can go. I can maybe do that stupid play at the start, but it's fine. Yeah, finish me. I shouldn't have used all my cards at the start. He had his opening Heavy Storm. 40. I still got points. Points are points. And it still gave him heart points, I guess. Final duel. I lost to this guy before. Was it during tag duels? Let's duel him. How about that? Final countdown versus whatever I'm doing. Pardon me. Hmm. It's kind of holding back hiccups all of a sudden. Jeez. Okay, I'm good. Second to go. First to go. I will gladly go first in this. Okay. A shadow spell. That would have been good before, but not against Jinzo. Never mind. All right. Pot of Greed. Hmm. My stuff yet, huh? 
set down the Cobra, set down you. And just because I'm setting the world on fire. He's got a part of greed too, chat. He's getting greedy. Not yet. Let's see what he does. He's going with Shining Angel. He can go ahead and attack it. And I can put a token on board. Okay, not yet. There's Skull Invitation. Set Skull Invitation. Set Needleworm. And let the magic happen. Yeah, you can go ahead, attack, go ahead and attack me. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. 500 burn damage. Hell yeah. I'm the only person that gets excited over 500 burn damage like that. Oh, what are you doing? Hang on a second. This thing's annoying. Battles a monster after damage calculation. You remove from play the opponent's monster and this card. Uh, well, the flip effect will still go off, right? I believe so. Hmm, you know what I will do, actually? I'll shadow spell it so it can't attack. Hang on. Da -da -da -da. I'll just make it a sitting duck on the field so I can just desert it. we go. No problem. Alright. Time to activate the skull. Hmm. I don't want to spear Cretan yet. May as well put Princess down, I suppose. Attack into it for sure next turn. I may as well put this up now. Alright, now we wait. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Attack. Take your burning damage. You attack Princess first, damn it. It's fine. This is fine. There's the toll. I'm gonna set you. We're gonna activate toll. Because I know he's gonna keep bopping the other monsters, because that's just what he does. We need to flip it now. No, just let him attack into it first. Just let him attack into it first. Pay the toll. He went for Spear Creighton. That's fine. I may take 300 damage. But I can bring the princess back yet again. Oh, he's not gonna keep attacking, huh? Another princess for me? I don't have to do anything, chat. I've pretty much won. I just wait. Unless he's got, uh... Come to think of it, wasn't he supposed to final countdown? Does he just not have it? You got Sangan? That's legal? Holy oh, forgot. Ooh. Ooh. Pay the toll. Pay the toll. My dude's about to lose. I just have to flip up Needleworm now. So sorry to hear about the loss of your precious duel. A hey, 1500. Don't you love to see it? It is, it, it is satisfying to see all these effects going off. I love it. 322. Oh, you're pretty good. That was a nice win. I'm always up for another duel. 
Okay. Let's go talk to more peeps. What is up, Alexis? How are you today? Good morning. Oh, Pharaoh. You're just the person I was looking for. You had a great talk. Do I have anything you want? I don't think so. I gotta try this. Okay, that was good. Thanks. I'm going up against this boy again. This lad gotta go. I should also go to the shop again and try for, like, my third needleworm. That'd be good. First to go. Alright, let's not brick turn one. Or just throw it all away to Heavy Storm, like I did with Zane. That wouldn't be good. Ooh. I'm like, I like this start. Let's go. Oh, not yet. I don't think he has Heavy Storm. Famous last words. All right. He's got the familiar possessed, uh, Asa. Is that how you say it? Now, chat, watch this. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred! <laughs> Alright, I'll stretch. Let me, just, give me a second, yeah. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh is fun, chat. I'm enjoying this playthrough. I'm still surprised. It's been like over, well over 20 hours of me running back and forth dueling AI, and people seem to love it still, but I'm having a blast. You got 1850, so I guess I should just throw down Yomi ship. I'll do that first. I don't want to throw down Penguin yet, just in case he tribute summons like Dark Magician Girl or something. And hydrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do that. DD Warrior Lady. This ain't good. That's fine. Take the 300. Take the 300. Yeah, I've done, like, what, what, I think this might be, like, part eight or something. I noticed that the total views for this have, um, I guess I should put the bounce down now, shouldn't I? Do that. Yeah, the total amount of views across this series is past 100k, so that's pretty cool. It's only been, like, a month of this. That's, like, huge for the blue channel. Um, okay. Um, I guess this is fine. It's funny because before I started this, I was talking to my mods and being like, huh, I should start like a Yu-Gi-Oh or Digimon playthrough and see how that does. Maybe I should try a Digimon one soon enough. Get that going. People really like when I played those games too. Okay. This thing's annoying. We're gonna waste your normal summon by bouncing that up. No more attacks for you. We got him, chat. We got him. What's in here again? You owe me ship a needleworm. If I get spear Creighton to put down needleworm, I win. I mean, I pretty much already do, but. There we go. Main phase. Chain energy. Ooh, there's Win. Win's my favorite charmer. But uh, I, I hate that this creep's got her. There we go. 300. 300. He's doing that. Put down Needleworm and inflict frickin' 3,000 points of damage. You'll love to see it. Overkill. We got him. 
261, opponent's turn finish, deck destruction. Oh, I thought I had you. I can't lose to a guy. Next time we duel, bring a cute girl with you, okay? Ugh. Spirits. I've lost to this person before. I haven't beaten them before. Let's try. I don't remember what exactly they had. Can't hurt the try. We're just getting dual points to make this deck even better. Then maybe I'll go to the store and see if I can get uh, more worms. Come on, dude. Summon. Ooh, Morphing Jar. Finally, that's the first time today since I got the damn thing. Discard all cards from our hands, huh? Hmm... Maybe wait a turn or so first. Don't need a Morphing Jar right away. I'll put Penguin down. Gear free the Iron Knight. Pay the toll. Welcome to the bounce, boy. Ooh, he's got nothing, chat. Nothing. Another spear cretin. Damn. He's already too good. Uh he's gonna go for the attack, whatever I set down to. May as well put Yomi ship down. This is supposed to be for recycling. I can't have them in the same hand right now. I'm sure I'll have time for more playthroughs, chat. Like, um... I was talking on the Discord about d some more ideas for comfy winter playthroughs. There goes that. Like, going through my Wii U, I got Donkey Kong 64 downloaded, and I really wanted to do a full playthrough of Pandora's Tower sometime. Mmm, Penguin's not the one I really want to recycle here. Ah, at this point, I'll just throw down the jar. Let's do that. Just do it. Let's go. Gotta get going, friend. Alright, catch you later. Breathe the brave wanderer. Oh, he's got mage power. Ooh. Here we go. Yeah, I had the... Pandora's Tower is like this really cool game for the Wii. And I never got to finish it when it came out, and I kind of just wanted to stream it. I got it all set up. I can play with my Wiimote and everything. Okay. Oh, I can just put down Morphing Jar again with that, couldn't I? Cover my bases with this. Set the Penguin. Skull Invitation. Yeah, let's put down Morphing Jar again, why don't we? Why don't we, chat? Oops, I keep almost hitting the wrong thing for some reason. Yeah, you can play that. You can play that. And now I'll put this down. I'm gonna lock up my field with this. And it's gonna be great. Watch, you'll see. This is gonna be fantastic. <laughs> Let it go. Let him go. First, we activate the skelly. Then, chat, we activate the jelly. Cannot. Let me activate it, please. Oh, he's MSTing? Which one? Oh, the slime. That's honestly good for me. Go right ahead. Go right ahead, my dude. Reflect. Oh, what's that? Did you have a mage power equipped? So sorry. Pay the toll. Oh, what's that? You activated Morphing Jar. Oh no, I gotta draw five cards. I love watching this. 
I love just watching my deck just whittle away all his damn life points. So I just gotta, like, set prin like Princess or Needleworm would just shred him now. That's fine. Go right ahead. Get burned. My dude, you don't have life points. My dude, you got, you, what are you gonna do? Stop it, you can't pay the toll. You can't attack me. Bro's going all in and he can't even attack me. <laughs> Chat, you want to see a freaking murder happen? Oh. He activated Solemn. <laughs> and then Solemn goes to the graveyard and activates Skull Invitation. Good job. Good job, idiot. Oh, boy. That was great. That was beautiful. I've never been so humiliated. What a wonderful duel. Let's play again. Okay. Let's go see if I can get a third copy of Worm. To the store. So do you think these two, Sandy and Dorothy, just, like, live here? Must get really boring with nowhere to go on their days off. They don't even duel. Yep, yep, let me posture check here and get a drink. Sure thing. Uh, did I need anything else from the draw pack? I don't think so. I want a chainsaw insect, but we're not going for a mill strategy anymore. I want needleworm. Try 500, let's go. Let's go. Magician of Faith. Oh, there's my third worm. Nice. I don't know if I even need anything else now. Oh, Morphin Jar too? What's that? Return all monster cards on the field to their decks and shuffle them. You and your opponent then pick up cards until... Yeah, the same number of monster cards that were returned to the deck. Special summon level four lower monster field and face down defense position. The rest of the cards are picked up or discarded to the graveyard. It's not nearly as good, right? I don't know if I really want to use that. That just sounds like a headache. Okay. What else can I grab? I still need a second chain energy. That's what I wanted. Basically just for stall, yeah. I'd rather just do the um, flip for the immediate damage. Another skull. And they're called haunted. Come on, chain energy. Of course, the sanctuary. I wonder if that would be worth putting in. Just as, like, another thing for them to bump into for extra damage. I don't know. Not really worth the... I mean, it takes up the field spell slot. So not my back row getting clogged up. I don't know. No, oh, no, 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 no. Not that one. Not the normal monster pack. Chain energy, chain energy, come on. Make them pay. Play the game. Well, down to my last dual points. Let's go. Another shadow spell. Kunai with chain. That takes me back. Archfiend's Oath. What she got? What she got? 
Another call to haunt it. That's not what I want. Damn. Did not get what I want. Can also cancel out opponent's field spell with that too. I mean, I guess. I kind of just like the idea of laughing at them bumping into stronger defense monsters. All right, let me see here. Maybe I should put a defense wall in my deck as well. I don't know. Anyways, what goes in for third worm? This penguin's not as good as I thought it'd be. I don't know if I want to keep it. Um, this just lets me bring out Yomi ship. Yomi ship's okay. The cobra can go, I, I'd say. All right, let's go down and look for it. F, A, M, N, okay. Where is it, where is it now? Let me see here. Pick up cards, have the number of monster cards that will return to the extra deck. I guess I could put this in too. It would let me set up more flip effects. Why not? Let's get cheesy chat. I think I'm gonna get rid of the bear, unfortunately, because I don't really use it that much anymore. I'm sorry, chat. Teddies are always with me in spirit. Um, I, another copy of Just Desserts would be pretty good, I think, for what I'm going for. Let me sort. Hard frame. Knew it was going. Oh, I'm sorry, chat. How about I, you know what, just, just for you? A lucky event has just occurred. A green shiny Teddy Ursa has just popped up on screen. Look at that. See that? That Teddy's always here in spirit. Look at him. Look at that happy little bear. Green Teddy Ursa. There you go. Oh, it's gone. You didn't catch it. Too bad. It fled. <laughs> spirit Cretan's been pretty good for recycling flip effects. I can't believe I'm making a stupid flip effect deck. With burns and pay, pain stuff and all that. Um, I almost feel like Shadow Spell can be replaced with something at this point, but I'm not sure. Let's just keep playing. This deck's fun to play. Okay, let's test it on this guy. He's my favorite to beat up. Drawing is good. Time to see if draw training's paid off. What? You want to duel against me? Alright, you're gonna see some drawing mastery. We have conflicted bear, bear feelings. There's always teddies on this stream no matter what. Just because we don't have a bear-themed card in the deck doesn't mean we are gonna lose. Or maybe it does. There should be a teddy, like a teddy card archetype. There should be. Okay, so he's the perfect training dummy for this crap. Let's go. One, two, three. Okay, poison mummy gun. Oh, I didn't put in chorus of the sanctuary. I. Hmm. Do I really need dust tornado? I mean, it's not that bad in there. I need some kind of back row removal sometimes, but it's all right. Um. If he's dumb enough to attack. Go with this first. Pay the toll. Burning Land also removes my opponent's field spells, and it would destroy my own field spell if I activate it as well, so I don't know. Maybe we'll see. I guess I'll do this to bop whatever he throws down. Never know when you need to destroy a mage power, for united we stand. Upstart goblin, no, the horror. I know tunes are apparently really, really, really bad, but I don't know, I see some of the more modern ones and I think they seem kind of fun. But I don't know, chat, Appar apparently if you don't play the meta, you're not, you don't like fun anyway. There we go. Oh, that thing. Pay the toll. I took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Because he gave me a little extra there, too. There we 
There we go. I don't really follow Yu-Gi-Oh meta, but I just see every time I see anything related to competitive Yu-Gi-Oh pop up on like social media, it's just people like mad about like the same three cards or something. I don't really want to. I, I I don't even know how to do like m all the modern stuff anyway. Uh, what should I do? I guess I could throw that down, but I don't have Skull Invitation up, so I can do this. Pop it. Oh. Well, never mind. No, I don't need to set anything. Imagine if that let me set, it, set a monster. That would be pretty sick. But, nah. Um, let's see. No matter what, he's gonna beat over me with piercing damage, so I may as well just throw Yomi Shift down. And activate this, too. Toon cards also kind of confuse me, though, because it feels like every new, like, wave of them, they always kind of, like, change what the core Toon effect is. Almost. It's like, oh, they need Toon World on the field. Oh, no, these ones don't. Oh, these ones, uh, yeah, they can't, if they get destroyed by Toon World, they're destroyed. And it's like, oh, okay. I'm sure there are teddy bear cards, and they're very wholesome little friends. Okay. I've pretty much already won this, haven't I? I could just spear Cretan for more mummy now. He doesn't have a bunch of stuff set up. So we're doing okay, chat. We're doing okay. Jar of Greed, here it comes, Skill Angel. Is he gonna attack with me? Or attack me? Oh, he's gonna do this again, okay. Yeah, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead, see if I care. He's paying the toll and he's losing. He's drawing cards, chat. Well then, I guess I kinda need Yomi ship for this again, don't I? Oh, he's got two! He's got two! Ooh, chat. Crap, I might be in trouble. Well, he's, I'm about to bop one of his monsters, so I may as well hit, hit him for a thousand right quick. A lot of people are fed up with modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I keep hearing that term, Tier Zero. That's supposed to refer to, like, a really, really freaking busted deck or something. I don't know. I don't fully recall. I guess I could just bounce with Penguin. That'll work just fine. Last I heard about something like that, I think it was when, like, um, that card Firewall Dragon was a thing, and people hated it so much that, like, they had to basically, like, uh, change its, change its effect or something, because it was busted. And I think the reason they couldn't change its effect right away is because it was supposed to be, like, the, uh, the anime protagonist's, like, ace card or something, so they didn't really didn't want to do that. So they just kept banning, like, cards that were part of the combo, but not Firewall Dragon itself, and that just pissed people off even more. That was, like, years ago at this point, wasn't it? He's gonna deck out at this rate. He's really going in with the monsters this time. No, like, spells or anything. Jeez. Okay, there's the jar. Destroy all monsters on the field. Both players pick up five cards for... Mm, I guess I'll just set up Cyber Jar. I don't really need to use Princess here. There's always... There's a bunch of cards that get banned because of some stupid combo. Draw one card. Oh. What, what, what just happened? What, what did he activate when I glanced over at chat? What happened to the field? Oh, he activated Final Destiny. <laughs> okay. Well, that's annoying. 
I guess I just gotta... Okay, I, I can still do this. I got plenty of my pieces here. We lack critical bears. Hey, hey, no, no. The bears are always here. I have a Teddy Ursa plush. I have Teddy Ursa emotes. You're all good bears, aren't you? Aren't you, chat? Reflect damage, baby. I guess this goes back to your hand. Chain energy, huh? Make my day, Damon. Make my day. I will never shut up about Teddy Ursa. It's too cute. No, there's never been a Teddy Ursa card banned in Pokemon TCG, right? I would love to play more... Actually, play Pokemon TCG, but, um... All I really do is collect them, because, like, I got into it at the start of, like, lockdown. Basically collecting since the start of the Sword and Shield era. And I win. Oh, wait, no, he loses. He used his face down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> he used his face down, so now I'm... Uh-oh. Hang on. Hello, friend. Welcome. Now I gotta do this. He just needs to send one card to the graveyard, and I win. Let's see. Okay, next player's turn. The bear is pretty great, yeah. As I was saying, yeah, I'd love to play some Pokemon TCG, because I like the, a lot of the V cards, the look of them. I know there's some silly stuff you can do with that. Oh! I win, right? I send his one card from the hand to the graveyard, and I win. Skullitation. I almost lost that because of Final Destiny. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. 166. All right, chat. I think I got time for just, like, one more duel. And then it looks like uh, I gotta go. I know draw well. I gotta work on my skills. Haha, <laughs> bye. We're back. Everything's all set up, chat. Let's do a little bit more dueling now. Talk to Bastion today? I'm not even sure. I also want to switch the deck now. Like, I like the burn deck because it's really stupid and cheesy, but the problem is I don't have access to all the cards I really want to make it consistent. So let me just go ahead and... Where's the save thing for this? Okay, starts that. Okay, it's triangle. There's like 12 different menus I can bring up for this, right? All right, let's save this one. Yeah, we'll just put that there as other water. And we'll load recipe. We're going to go back to my other one. The Mobius water. All right, looks good. I have Pot of Greed in this one. Did I get any other staples while I was playing Burn that I want to put in? I'm not fully really sure. I should be fine. Hello, Bastion. What do you think? Some dueling secrets can only be found in nature. Nature is full of secrets and special powers. It can't be figured out with numbers or logic. Oh, Pharaoh. Huh? You sure I could talk to you? You had a great talk. Here's your sandwich, too. Tofu. I guess it's not so bad. Thanks! Enzo. Oh, he's the life point gain guy. Samurai spirit. Um, this guy is always a blast to duel. Why not? What? You want to duel against me? Alright, you're gonna see some draw mastery. Let's get warmed up with the water deck again. I like the burn deck, but, like, it's so, like, it feels like a coin flip, whether it just absolutely shreds them, or I just, like, get beaten, because I don't have enough stuff. I mean, it's not supposed to be consistent, it's a really stupid deck, but when it worked, it was fun as hell. Okay. Put down that field spell. It's fine. That's fine. Let me attack into it. Mm, I probably should have waited a turn, actually, because of Penguin there. But it's Damon. He's he can't do anything to me anyway. 
Card of Sanctity, remove all cards in your hand on the side of the field from play. Draw cards until you have two cards in your hand. Great play, my man. Great play. Flash Assailant. Oh, stop it. Stop giving me life points. <laughs> Bounce him anyway. Yeah, I could have reflected him. It's fine. And now he's got nothing. As do I. Huh. Well, I guess I may as well just throw Starboy down and attack him. Because why the hell not? We're back to water beatdown, chat. Hit him with that 1550. Too bad Damon's deck has no win condition, so we can't do a thing. Wait. Oh, he didn't go for the attack. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I may as well do this then. Just get two 250 boys bear. Oh, he wants the draw. He wants the draw. Now Flash Assailant can't even beat me at optimal stats. There it is. Okay, Giant Trunade. Might as well just sacrifice one of the Star Boys now. Throw down Mobius and activate the effect just once. Just once, we will boop that back row. All right. Yeah, he got nothing. He got nothing, chat. Look how fast I win using just the water deck. It is fun watching all those effects go off. I will go back to that burn deck for sure, don't worry. I still want to make a cheesy mill deck as well, which will, that will absolutely blow up in my face because it's just going to let my opponent have, like, so many cards in their hand. Wow, the wind music. We don't get to hear that often with the burn deck either because I usually have low life points by the end of it all. So, he's lost. Like, he's got nothing. <laughs> all right. Overkill. Yeah, this seems great. You win. You don't get to hear it very long, though. If I can really get a huge boost of uh, dual points saved up, I might try making another attribute deck. I know really trying that time. You want to go again? Haha, <laughs> bye-bye. All right. There's Samurai Spirit. Let's try this guy. You wish to duel me? Very intriguing. I imagine you're more than meets the eye. I must have done like five, six, seven hours of that burn deck for a while by now. It's so fun, but like... I, there's so many duels where I just have a, like, I don't have anything I need in my opening hand, and I just can't do anything. Maybe I'll make a Yada Lock deck at some point. Samurai Spirit. Okay. Alright, now I gotta play normal. I gotta play normal Yu-Gi-Oh now. We'll go ahead and do this. Card Destruction's fun for milling. Increase the attack all warrior-type monsters on your side of the field by 200 points for each face-up warrior-type and spellcaster on your side of the field. Okay. It's the A-team. No, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Penguin bop. Here we go. A little bit of cheesy reflect damage. Ooh, I have got everything I need. Okay, first, we're gonna put down Mobius. Then we're going to boop the two back row cards. And then we're going to throw down Future Fusion. And from my deck, I'm going to banish my three Cyber and Cyber Dragons. <laughs> oh, I love this card. It's so stupid. It's also the pre errata version in this, in this uh, game, too. Will he even last two turns? We'll find out. I would love to try Exodia, but I can't even get Exodia pieces yet. I can't even get MST yet. 
what would be really good for the burn deck is like that dark door or dark room of nightmare where it adds effect damage on top of other effect damage. That'd be fantastic. Um, will Starboy be able to beat over whatever he's got? I don't know. I'm gonna have Cyber end next turn anyway, so it's fine. In with that Gagagigo. And next turn, the big bad comes out, chat. The big bad's gonna make him the big sad. King of the Swamp? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he discarded to get Polly. He can't do anything with it, though. Ooh, chat, you want to see a murder? You want to see a murder happen? <laughs> so 4,000 attack beat stick, it gets piercing damage. Ooh, so sorry. <laughs> that card is stupid, I love it. I love it. I love how I can just splash in three copies of Cyber Dragon and uh, that there. That was a duel to humble me. I had no idea the great disparity between us. Farewell for now. Okay. I think I hear dogs barking outside. Book of Moon is also limited to one in this game, right? Hmm. Any more points sound good. I could also mix up the water deck, finally. It's Thursday, I can't buy more water cards, but I have most of them anyway. Harbor's there. What have I not really dueled yet? I could just go right to the next day, honestly, because it's. I think it's like during the next upcoming week we finally have like an event with Chaz or something. Out of the way, Gillian. I think all the proof we need about how bad the burn deck can be is how I almost lost to Gillian, the tutorial deck with it. Oops, no, 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 end the day. Oh, what's this? Email. Let's duel, Jaden. I want to see how my deck's shaping up. Come on, let's duel at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Come to the forest. I'll be waiting. All right, chat. Jaden's called me to the forest at 4 p.m. Remember, because I'm going to forget. Where is Cat now? We gotta find the cat first. Is this a special duel with special dialogue? We shall find out. I hate how they put the cat at, like, right next to the map border, so I can accidentally walk out. Alright, give the cat food. We'll do that. How about chicken sandwich? Alright, cat is with me. Hmm. Friday. Let's go get our points with everybody. I think if you don't go, it loses friendship. Oh, okay. In that case, I shouldn't mess around with dueling too much today, anyway. You had a great talk. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have anything for you. Go talk to Zane. So you notice, too, Cyrus has become aggressive in duels. It's quite a change from before. Of course, he doesn't have enough confidence. I'm sure that will come in time. I'm sure that will, too. What do you think? You'll listen? You had a great talk. And Chaz won't talk to me because he's too freaking good for it. Let's just talk to everybody until class starts. Hi. Hi, Bastion. Oh, you're up and early to train, too. That's impressive. You want to get some dual exercise with me? All right, get ready. One, two, draw. One, two, draw. Meow. Hey, Pharaoh. 
Dueling just works perfectly fine for everybody. I don't know why you pick the, any of the other options. They don't seem to do any better. Mm, they should all be in the room. In there. Oh. Sweet. Today is just class. We can take naps and eat curry. It's totally awesome. Oh, hey, Pharaoh. Just thinking I want to talk to you. You had a great talk. Hey, morning. You can get up all on your own. Jaden could learn a thing or two from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, Chumley. Yo ho, did I surprise you? Okay. Barrel prevents any bad result for talking. Oh, really? Okay. Jaden told you to shut up once after asking him about dueling. Oh. <laughs> I guess you can't. That can happen. I know the cat boosted things. I didn't realize it made all options just the best option. That's a little OP. May as well get to start that class, chat. Let me make a save right quick. How I don't I? Do I want to save? Yes, I do. End game, return the title screen? Heck no, I don't. Class is just in a half hour, chat. I don't know how this protagonist can get up at five, like 5.45 every day. I couldn't do that. It's time for class. Let's see what we got. We'll learn mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. This game is like recycling the same three class events, and I'm only in the first month. Cyrus. Yes, ma'am. Step front. You're demonstrating. What, seriously? Of course. How else will the others learn? Okay, so it's like, yes. Don't be embarrassed. Okay, Professor, you'll demo with Cyrus. Gag. Act mature, Cyrus. This is for education. Ah! We're done with today's lesson. Okay, it's four o'clock. Uh, won't it be 4.15 as soon as I leave, though? All right, duels. Heck yeah, great talk. All right, chat, let's go duel him. He's waiting for me in the forest. not here. It must be at the uh, little electrical thing. Hey, there you are. I'm gonna duel with a bunch of new rules soon, like time limits on each turn and different amounts of life points per duel. I don't think I can wait, so let's duel with some weird rules as practice. The rules are life points double, time limit five minutes. All right, so those are the rules, okay? Okay, what's what's this about? <laughs> normal duel. I don't think it's a normal duel anymore. All right, let's go. I'm gonna draw my card, and then I'm gonna set a monster, and then I'm gonna end my turn. Time rules, chat. It's time to play Scum Tactics. Oh. Okay. A little bit of an overkill there, Jaden, but alright. Go ahead and hit me. He took his turn without even a second passing. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Special summon you, put you in attack position. I don't need to put Mobius on the board because he's got no back row. So I'll just set Penguin as a backup measure. It's time to speed duel, chat. You like speed dueling, don't ya? There's some hardcore music for this. 
Imagine if I was using my burn deck right now, how bad that would be. This would be an absolute disaster for me. There's no way I could just whittle him down. Alright. There goes you. Last will. Hmm. I can activate that via tributing, so let's do that. Uh, maybe I should wait. He has no back row, so still. Let's do this instead. I need to save Mobius for when he tries to set something up. Alright, now I got my field spell, the boost from Starboy, and the two extra 200 from uh, Penguin. That's the water combo. Yeah, five minutes per turn isn't bad at all. Alright, I got him near the starting life points. Let's go. Aqua Spirit. Okay, not bad. Hmm. But I don't need it yet. I feel like these two should still be backup plans. I like seeing Yomi ship at 2,000 attack. Oh, Wing Karibo. After activation... Oh, the time isn't going down during this. I can kind of cheat this. <laughs> That's pretty easy. Uh, after activation during any battle damage that the controller this card takes becomes zero. Yeah, so he just takes nothing else from anything. But will he still activate his cards, I wonder? No, he doesn't. Okay. Warrior returning alive. All right. Shadow spell. I probably should hit with Penguin in case he sets Clayman. Get him. Get his ass. Give him the beatdown, chat. Are there any other water monsters that get, like, uh, a buff? to attack power or something. I don't even know. Don't need to throw down anything else. This is fine. These two are backup plans. I have the lead. Hey! Funky music. Oops. This sounds like Sonic Adventure music. just sounds like something I hear in a game like that. We got him. Do I get any extra duel points for this little special? No, okay, apparently not really. Sounds like it would be Emerald Coast, yeah. Damn, wasn't even worth it. Whoops, I lost. But these rules are sweet. Thanks a lot, that was fun. Okay. Thanks for today. Alright. May as well talk to Bastion again. Nature's full of secret special powers. Hey, Pharaoh, what do you want to talk about? Duels. Are you sure I can talk to you? Yeah, I got a cat. Um, I don't have any... Crap. I don't have crap on me for him. Okay, then. I'm getting some duel points. The burn deck let me farm a little bit fast, but... Mmm... It's fine. Welcome! Would you like cards? Yes, I do. I like how cards... What are cards is an option. Uh, Ritual Summoning. I feel like I should go for something new to spice it up a bit. What do you think? What about Light Monsters? I can combo them with Cyber Dragons. I can always give it a try. Solar Ray, Beckoning Light, Battery D. Oh, that's a rare? Come on, I don't care about that. 
the creator. The creator incarnate. Does that do? Tribute this card to special summon one the, the creator from your hands. Okay. Select one monster from your graveyard, send one card from your hand to the graveyard, and special summon the selected monster. You can only use this effect once per turn. This card cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. Okay. But it's not that great for a normally tr two tribute summon thing. That's a lot of uh, cost just to bring something back from the graveyard. Okay, that's a beat stick for light monsters, I guess. Battery Man D. While this card's face up in your side of the field, your opponent cannot select a Thunder type monster in your side of the field. It's an attack target. Okay. Maiden of Moonlight. Inflect 600 points to damage your opponent's life points for each face up light monster on your side of the field. Not terrible for my degenerate strategies, I suppose. I know that's what the Incarnate is for. But you can't always be guaranteed to have a creator incarnate in your hand. And its effect is just discard a thing to bring something back. I feel like it's not going to be consistent to always get what I want there. I want to dual Cyrus skin. Let's go with that. I'm going to have revenge against this guy. I like the water deck, but I also just want to save up for more cards and play other stuff just for the hell of it. That's why playing the burn deck was fun, even though it was just such a wildly inconsistent strat. No Battery Man support. Ooh, double Cyber to start, but I'm, on, I'm going first, so that's pretty bad. Let's do this. Just let it be a sitting duck on the field, see what he summons. Gonna go for it. Come on. I'm activate Shadow Spell. Oh, he has a card to stop me from attacking. I better attack. The AI just instantly forgets what it looks at. Okay, seven color fish. I guess I don't really need to throw down Cyber Dragons at all. Starboy's just gonna buff the, the fish here. take out the vehicle. I like how Starboy can just get so many freaking attack points doing this crap. Alright, alright. Draw phase, standby, main phase, nitro unit. What a terrible spell. And again, doesn't that just summarize all equipped spells, especially nowadays? Hmm, I suppose I could just put Mobius down now, and destroy his other two back rows. Get rid of seven colored fish, cause Starboy will buff Mobius. Oh, I gotta, always gotta be careful, cause the cursor always defaults to my spell and trap cards first. Uh, what? Really? Okay, dude, okay. I could throw down Cyber Dragon. I suppose I should, huh? I can't tribute this turn now. Never mind. What am I saying? I keep thinking because he special summons and I can just do that for every occasion. Totally doesn't work. Dust Tornado. I'm just gonna attack him and hope it's nothing good. Hey! 50 points over, chat. 50 points over. Oh, call the haunted. Okay, good. Well, there's my field spell. I still have this. Now Starboy's strong on his own. I want to keep Starboy on the field, just in case I draw into another water monster. Yeah, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. 
And if he does destroy Starboy, I can just special summon Cyber Dragon anyway. Yeah, I got nothing. Ugh, this. I don't need it yet. Wait for something important. He does have some stupid fusions as well. I've never seen Cyrus actually get a sand chance to, like, summon them, though. Oh, Steamroid, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Now, give me a water monster. What do I put them in my deck for? Uh, he's gonna be... If he has another one of these, it'll beat over Cyber Dragon anyway. So, let's see. Hang on. Yeah. If this card is attacked, it loses 500. Okay, right. Just making sure. It's at 1,800. Perfect. The effect goes off. You go down to 1,300. Boop. He dead. Oh, he had nothing. Cyrus, my duel has barely started here. I'm just waiting for more car- Where are my monsters? <laughs> okay. Ugh. All right, then. Fine. We'll do this. I'll throw down Last Will. And I'll tribute Starboy. And now, because a monster went from my field to the graveyard this turn, I can activate Last Will's Lingering Effect. And I can summon... Hmm, I could put down another Star Boy, but I also just put down a Mama Bear. Something else there. All right, chat, it's bear time. We got the bear essentials of dueling now. Hey. 900 points, Cyrus. You have nothing. Oh, he has that. There's a return to square one. Oh, there's my Cyber Dragon. One monster, so yeah, that won't work. Well, I can't do anything now. Except wait for that to go. Unless I draw another, my other Mobius. Cyrus. Cyrus, you, don't, you, you got 100 life points left. Good job, idiot. Seven completed. Oh god, stop. Please. This is just rude. I'm gonna summon... Another Mama Bear for now, it's fine. I can get him. Just the time comes. Set that. And I suppose I may as well just share the pain. Out the teddy. And now we wait. I love Swords of Revealing Light. I love just waiting. This music isn't hit for his comeback. It's for me kicking his ass. Is that another penguin? Hang on. As soon as we would see, hang on. Return one car, not one monster. Had to double check. I was gonna say, put this back to his hand and attack him, but what if these two cards just do something stupid? I'm not gonna do that. I'll just let Swords get destroyed on its own. This is fine. That would have been a really dumb way to just, like, because then he just activated again and it would have been awful. And now he's got nothing. No. Get his ass. Get his ass, penguin. One ninety-five. Thanks for wasting my time yet again, Cyrus. I lost all figures. I still got a lot to learn. What about you? Phoenix Dream. Let's duel you. Let's get some blue student stuff here, and then we'll open some more packs. Teddy's cheer, victory is here. Oops, I hit first. 
I instinctively hit first now because it's good for the other deck, but uh, so going second is good for me. Start duel. Okay. I can open with the future fusion. Ooh, I should have did that first before Pot of Green. What if I draw a Cyber? Okay, I didn't. Cyber end. Alright, put those out. And now... Hmm, should I summon a Teddy? I'll put a bear on the field for now. Drive infecting virus. Discard one card from your hand. Declare a monster. Type a monster. Destroy all face-up monsters on the field of that type. Okay. Isn't this card like banned nowadays? Because it has some st like stupid good. Uh, it's stupid good in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Hang on a second. It's not really a big deal what I put out. Let's do that. is fine. I'm gonna tribute it. Good job! Good job, Jules! That was also your type of monster. <laughs> I could trunade those two back row cards, but odds are they're probably gonna be something she'll just set down and use anyway, so maybe I'll just attack into them. See what happens. Oh! That'll- yeah, that could happen. That also is a thing. Hmm. I got Cyber End coming. YOLO. YOLO chat. Well, well, well. Look what we got here. Ooh, somebody has nothing on the field. I'm gonna say this one. Was that? Oh, that damn, that was bottomless. That's like the perfect thing I could have targeted there. Well, yeah, Trune would also reset Future Fusion, of course. That's another reason you don't want to use it. All right, and I'll go ahead and throw you down. And let's attack with Cyber End and hope it's not Sakuretsu Armor. you damn right it's not Sakuretsu Armor. Yo, that's not nice. At least she has no monsters. Apparently. Alright, it's all up to you, lizard man. Yeah. you love to see it. Real annoying. Did I just win? I just won. She got no monsters. Oh, thanks for gifting us up there, Yo Yo. Appreciate it. Three twenty six. I don't know what her win condition was, but she sure as hell wasn't getting it. Let's do it again sometime. All right, let's keep going with the light pack, why don't we? Yes. There's so many cards in this game, so let's just open some, see what we get, and try and build a deck around it, because why the hell not? It could be fun. Seven. Let's open so with seven of these. That thing, that thing. I missed the infinity. Uh, Superconductor Tyranno. Isn't that the bad version, though? Like, Ultimate's the good one. There's another one. That was the movie card. Pyramid of Light. Helios, the Primordial Sun. Attack and defense this card. Become the number of monsters that are removed from play times 100. Maiden of Moonlight, Bright Castle, 
This card bothers me, because isn't this card... Like, the card art is just Toon World, right? I can't quite make out the art on the book itself, but doesn't it... Isn't it, like, the same book? Oshingen. Oh, this guy. It's the star with boots. It's uh, the light version of Starboy. Increase the attack of all light monsters by 500 attack. Decrease the attack of all dark monsters by 400 attack. Well, I need some of these, I guess. Discard all cards in your hand to the graveyard, then select a number of light monsters from your graveyard equal to the number of cards you discarded. Add them to your hand. This card is tribute summoned successfully. Your opponent cannot declare an attack during their next turn. Okay. Queen's Knight. Wing Weaver. Yeah, level 7 for that's not great. Dream Sprite. When, this, when attacked by your opponent's monster, select another one of your monster cards and designate it as an attack target, then calculate damage. You can tell it's an old card when it tells you you have to um, calculate damage. Once per turn, by tributing one monster, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. This monster cannot declare an attack you, you if you use this effect this turn. Yeah, that's not amazing. It's only once per turn. I mean, you could finish a game on it, but it's level 8. Element Valkyrie. If this monster... This monster gets the following effects while there's a monster with the following attributes on the field. Decrease the attack. Increase the attack of this card by 500. Control of this card cannot switch. Wow. Cool. Dark Witch. Element Magician. If this card destroys your opponent's monsters, roll to battle can attack once again in a row. Andrew Sphinx. You can pay 500 life points to special summon this card when Pyramid of Light is on the field. This card cannot attack during the turn. It is normal summon, special summon. This card cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. If this card destroys defense position monsters, it's also battle inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to half the attack of the destroyed monster. King's Knight. Okay. I wonder if the knight combo is any good for this era. Would it do any good? I don't know. This card cannot be normal summoner set. Special summon by removing two light monsters from your graveyard from play. As long as the card remains face up on the field, decrease the attack all monsters to your opponent's side of the field by 300 during their battle phase. That might be okay. Might be fine, I suppose. That's not the worst thing if I combine with a field spell or whatever. Dark Artist. The defense of this monster is decreased by half when attacked by light monsters. What is the point of that? That's like, that effect is only just a negative for it. Biomage. A mysterious priest created as a result of the latest advances in biotechnology. This card can be, be special summoned by tributing to Helios, the primordial sun on your side of the field. Attack defense of this card become the number of monsters removed from play by times 200. If this card is destroyed as a result of battle and sent to the graveyard, this card is special summoned during the end phase. Increase the attack defense by 300. All right, I got some stuff. Some stuff. All right, let's spend my remaining 400 points then, why don't we? You don't have enough DP. I have one DP left to my name, chat. That thing again. I don't want it. Oshengen. Oshengen. Whatever you want to call it. I suppose... Do I even have Jack's Knight? Oh, there it is. Okay. That thing. Queen's Knight. Only King's Knight has the effect for to summon the Jack's Knight, though, right? Dark Witch. That's a light attribute monster. Jack's Knight. Strong Master Swordsman. His loyalty is to justice. His duty is to protect the weak. He's he's five star though. That like, I don't know if you even want to put this in the deck. <laughs> is it worth it? I feel like if you're just gonna brick with these three. There's Solar Ray again. I suppose that's something. It's not great. Yeah, I could maybe make something. I couldn't make something great, but let's give it a try. Cause just because I want to mix things up and try out other cards. Um, deck at it. Let's go. 
Okay. So currently, the one I'm using right now is already saved, so I can just go ahead and remove everything except the staples. We're gonna keep in, uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep in Cyber Dragon, though, for sure. Turn to square one. I'm gonna get rid of that one for now. It only just ends up not getting used by me. Keep one last will. That should be fine. Mobius. I don't think I have the Light Monarch. Goodbye, Mobius. We're gonna we're gonna go for synergy with Light Monsters instead. Shadow spell. Keep in no. I hope I have a field spell for Light Monsters. If not, we'll have to work on that. Do I have any other Light Fusions? I wonder if that would work. Uh, I don't think I even have Shining Angel, the Light Recruiter, yet, either. Do I? Okay, so this is 16. Let's go with that, chat. So, let's go by Sort. Uh, Attribute. Okay, here's the Light stuff, chat. Now, what should I give a try? Dice Jar? No. Ceremonial Bell? Nah. Do I try one of these? I feel like I'm not gonna have it going. If I turn one this, it's gonna be annoying, but hey, why not? Let's try one. Let's try one. There's the creator and creator incarnate. That thing we don't want. Now we're in the dark attribute down here. Last of my light monsters. Destroy one defense position monster on the field. No thanks. Your flip effect. We don't want that. Oh yeah, I have Neos. Neos exists right now. Not great, though. Uh, Flip gives you control of one of your opponent's machine-type monsters till the end of your next phase. Any monster which destroys card by battle has defense reduced by 500 points. Okay. Not amazing. Feel for the lightning. When this card's tribute summoned with three tributes, all monsters in your opponent's field are destroyed. Hmm. Luminous Spark, I probably got that somewhere. Alright, well, we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. Homunculus, the alchemic being. You can change the attribute of this monster. This effect only be used once per turn. Why? Well, it's 1,800 and 4 stars, so it's something to put in. Maybe I can change it if he has something that penalizes that. I could put in Proto Cyber Dragon. That could help me with fusing. Maybe? Future fusion is my only fusion option. Might not be great, so... Try one, at least. I'm at 22. We're messing around, chat. Cyber Barrier Dragon, garbage. Cyber Curing. By tributing this card until the end of this turn, any effect damage inflicted by the controller of this card becomes zero. To the controller, sorry. Cyber Laser. Where's, uh, the Dark Witch? There she is. Normal monster beat down. Let's go. Kaiba man. I don't even have blue eyes, but that actually wouldn't be too bad to put those in together. Uh, King's Knight. Yeah, we don't want that. This card battles a dark monster. Increase the attack of this card by 500 points during the damage step only. Magician of Faith is light. I mean, I suppose for spell recycling, if I have no other option, I could just put that one in. Skill Angel, draw one card. Eh. Searchlight Man. I need mainly monsters right now. What do we got here? Mm, I need more, if that's for sure. Don't know if I even have Power Bond going on. Element Valkyrie isn't great. Battery Man D. Binding Chain. Okay. Ceremonial Bell. That's just a defense position monster, really. Machine-type monsters. Let's see. If all battery man sees on your side of the field are in attack position, increase the attack of all machine-type monsters on your side of the field by 500 points for each battery man see on your side of the field. Okay, same deal for defense position. I don't know if this is really great. It's basically like a field spell and a monster card. I don't want to use that. Golden Homunculus. Increase the attack the defense this card. 300 points for each of your cards as removed from play. Hmm. 
what else I got? Not really any other pieces for the Cyber Dragon stuff, huh? I suppose a third copy of this wouldn't hurt then, would it? And same with the homunculus thing. Also, it's, it's 1800, so why not? Mechanical Chaser's dark attribute, wasn't it? Ancient Sorcerer, we're in the dark now. Okay, let's sort. Um, Icon. Where's Field Spells now? Okay, Field Spells. Plasma Zone, dark. Luminous Spark. Okay, that works. That works. There's two copies of it, though. I need another one. Array of Revealing Light. Declare one monster type of monster. Any monster of the type cannot declare an attack during the turn of normal summon, flip summon, or special summons. Of all light monsters by... This is an equip spell. Why would I do that when I could just Axe of Despair instead? Reload. Necklace of Command. Hmm. There's all this stuff here now. What what else what else should I go for? I'm at 29 cards, so I need more. Foolish burial. That doesn't do much for me in this era, huh? Some tools of the bandit. Gravity bind. Level four higher monsters cannot attack. Respect play. Hmm. First, let me sort by frame here so we can get an idea. Okay. I need way more monsters. I don't have enough monsters, but I don't have, like, a huge amount of light monsters that I really want to use. A lot of them are tribute stuff. Cyber Dragon is a thing, all right. Okay, here's the light monsters again. else could we go for? When this card is discarded from the hand to the graveyard, it affects your uh, card control of your opponent. Draw two cards from your deck. Nope. Hmm, I suppose I could just splash in stuff like Morphing Jar and Cyber Jar at this point. Would that be really terrible? Not so sure. At this point, I'm kind of hurting just for any kind of filler now. Thonian Soldier. Morphing Jar is Earth, right? I simply don't have enough cards for what I wanna what I wanna do with this deck, do I? Great. Hmm. Can't just throw in Mobius here too, can I? Oh there it is. Take that. I do still need one monarch, maybe. But I'm defeating the purpose of my light monsters. I can't do much with them, can I? There's Princess, but she's wind. Hmm. Guard dog cannot special summon for the rest of the turn. Oh, the horror. I don't have Terraforming, I'm pretty sure. Do I? I can't recall. I don't even have the light spirit monster, do I? That thing, that thing. Maiden of Moonlight. A whole lot of nothing. On Proto. I feel like I need a Poly as well. In the case of that. Would one copy of Poly just brick me, though? Oh, this is gonna be a disaster, but we gotta try. We gotta try. Let me just sort by spell now. Power bond. Since I can only fuse with that anyway, but eh, I should just use poly, uh, which is where. Do I not have any copies of polymerization? How would I not? I oh, don't see that little swirly symbol anywhere, chat. I 
guess I'll just have to throw in a power bond and hope I get get that. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. I'm at 34 cards. What else can I put in? Maybe an equip spell now. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Just throw an equip spell. That'll stop him. Do I have Dust Tornado? I do, and I splashed in Mobius and stuff there. Sort by frame. I need more monsters. I don't have enough light monsters for this light monster deck. That's the annoying part. Let's go back up here. Go with Battery Man C. Put in attack mode to increase my other monsters stuff by 500 point. It's only the machines, though. That's not great. I don't know, the bell? Put the bell in. That'll that'll show them. I need a couple cards. Alright, we're gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna put in a King's Knight, a Queen's Knight, and I'm gonna put in... Where's Jack's Knight? Where's Jay? Where's Jay? Uh, I'm losing my mind. Can't normal think under pressure now. What am I? Oops! Damn it! It's over here. All right, chat. One more card. One more card. One more silly, silly card now. Spirit caller. Flip. You can special summon one level three or lower normal monster from your graveyard to your side of the field. They're all level four, though. That's not going to work for me. Skell Angel. Why the hell not? Let's go. Let's go, chat. This is gonna be dis this is gonna be a disaster. But why not? I want to play with something else, so why not? How about we duel the mushroom guy? Let's go with that. A duel? Sure. I love dueling. It's Teddy time. Teddy's gonna show everybody the light. The Mushroom Man. Ooh, good. Luminous Spark right away. And Jack's Knight. He's go He's running Mu Muyong Curry. What do you mean selected? There's no other option. That's weird. Giant Trunade. We could do that to stop him this turn. Let's go. Let's special summon Cyber Dragon. And we're gonna throw down Luminous Spark. And now it's bright, chat. Oh, look at that background. The little, little demon's just like, oh man, it's so bright. I hate that. Shop it, man. I could summon Jack Knight now doing this. Crimson Ninja. There's nothing to hit, boy. You lose. I told you I was gonna I was just gonna brick with Jack Knight. Well, not... You know what I mean. I just drew it when I did not need it. Homunculus guy. Let's go. No, I don't need to activate its effect. It's gonna prompt me for that every single time. Do I really need the axe? I suppose we should see if he goes for Sakuretsu armor. Uh, oh, he has to select a card. Good job, idiot. Good job. I didn't think about that. All right, we got a hit here. Why not? Well, I've got beat sticks on board. Man, it's gonna ask me that every time. I don't need to change it. It's gonna prompt me every time. Oh well, it's fine. Mushroom man number two. I'm in the battle phase. Yes, his face downs were nothing. I did. I worried not. I didn't need to worry. If I can get the the night combo going once, that'd be fine. Otherwise, though, they exist. Wow, he couldn't do a thing. I'm gonna give my dragon an axe just for overkill. Like he holds it with his mouth. We'll say that. 
Jerry Beans, man, you fool. You led that bean to his death. All right. The deck has a 100% win completion uh, chat. I should probably change the name of it. Poor, Jer poor Jerry Beans, man, I know. All right, let me open this up here. Okay. Triangles for this one. Uh, all right, gonna change the name first. Circles delete. Where is shift is select? Okay. There we go. Other water. Heck yeah. Let's give it the Chumley test. A duel? Okay. Thunder Neon Neon? Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad, I suppose. Second to go, because I got my Cyber Dragons. The Wrath of Nature, chat. Of Nature. Stray lambs. Oh, look who I drew first turn again, chat. Good old Jack. Jack is back. And he ain't gonna get to attack. Alright, first we're gonna special summon good old Cyber. Then we're gonna throw down the spark. I'm gonna throw down Mr. Homunculus. I don't need to waste fissure on, um, one of his lambs. You bonic vermin. I hate this little thing. Oh, here we go. He's gonna summon another one. I guess I'll kill you first. He's gonna have tribute fodder going on. Do I want to waste Fissure in this case? I probably should, because he can throw down big koala. And Koala's got exact like a hundred more than my max one, so just in case, just in case, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bully that poor lamb. Yeah, I can use Homunculus' effect for the opponent's field spell. That would be funny. Oh look, it's the one I don't need. Alright, here's Queen's Knight. Summon a card, activate the effect. Nope. Alright. get him. Second goblin. Alright. Summon the other vermin. How does that rodent have that much, like, attack power by itself? Can't activate it, bro. Okay, shadow spell for that. It's a light monster, but I don't need to put it down. All right, let's finally hit him. Oh no, the horror. I'm in defense position. I could just throw away Jack's Knight with card destruction. I could. But last time I used card destruction on Chumley, he just got Master of Oz, didn't he? I feel like I'm- I, it's just a bad omen to do that now. <sighs> yeah, you know, I'm gonna go for it now. Let's do it. One, two. Ooh, stuff. Let's do some funny stuff with this. There's even going to be an next turn, though. Castle walls? No! Shadow spell only affects attack, right? Yeah, attack. Can't do anything. Yes, koala. Now I'll show you a freaking guess, koala.
Now there's gonna be a next turn. Look what you did, Chumley. You slowed this down. Magician of Faith. Like, I can do anything with that. Frenzy Panda. Get him, boys. Get him. He loses. 614. Did I level up? Oh, I... Oh, I did. Got 400 off that. Jeez. Oh, darn. I lost. There's the Almighty Queen guy. Jaden's not here today, because I was dueling him before. Alright, let's get some points, why don't we? I mean, trade my points. All in, chat. All in. Maybe I should put in Solar Ray at this point, too. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Binding Chain, Jax Knight, Dream Sprite, Ray of Hope, Hoshengen. A third copy of that would be okay right now, I suppose. Another creator. I don't want it, though. Kaiser Seahorse. That's good, actually. Creator Incarnate. Freed that guy. Okay. Oh, Shining Angel. Okay, this is actually good pulls here, chat. What's this? Uh, I can't really read its name there. Ray of Hope. Add two light monsters from your graveyard to your deck and shuffle it. Hoshengen, Elf's Light. Uh, it's a quip spell. Traces it. Wow, that's a piss. That's like a Gen 1 Yu-Gi-Oh equip spell, all right? It sucks. Solar Ray. Fiend's Reflection, Maiden of the Moonlight, Battery Man D, Kaiser Seahorse. Yeah, if you tribute summon a light monster, you can treat this as one one monster as two tributes. That's good for stuff like Blue Eyes, but there's not too many huge two tribute monsters I want with that. Uh, another Homunculus, Element Magician, Creator Incarnate, Bio Mage, Freed. By removing from play two light monsters in your graveyard, destroy one face-up monster in the field with a higher attack than this card. That's okay. I suppose I could use that. This solves my problem of not having enough light monsters, I suppose. Let's put them in. I should probably open the basic pack to get blue eyes, shouldn't I? That wouldn't be terrible to put into the, in the deck now. If, I'm, if I get copies of Polly and I can potentially fuse Cyber Dragons or uh, Blue Eyes, that would be kind of stupid and fun. I want to try that. Plus, I can put Kaiba Man in the deck. Okay, chat, look at that. We have, we're making progress here. Wait, I got the Light Monarch? Oh, I didn't scroll down far enough. Uh, what's its name? I'll find it right now. I thought I hit the bottom, my mistake. Because it's going to be something the Monarch, so I can't just go to M. Zaborg? Okay, it's at the bottom, okay. Easy enough, easy enough. Zaborg the Thunder Monarch. When this card is tribute summon, destroy a monster on the field. Ooh, okay, I like it. I'll take it. Um I think we can get rid of the knights now. They can freaking go away. And I suppose I don't need Magician of Faith, really, do I? Well, Skell Angel can go first, let's be real. Proto Cyber Dragon, I honestly need one at most. And do I have Power Bond? I do. Okay. Uh. Let me just sort by attribute again. Helping Robo for combat. Each time this card destroys your opponent's monster as a result of battles, draw one card, then select and return one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know. Really depends on the situation whether that could be great or not. Shining Angel, we'll put that in. Kaiser Seahorse. I don't need its two tribute effect yet, but it looks cool. And that's kind of the most important thing when you're using monsters to kill other monsters, right? And, yeah, let's put in this free thing as well. That's 40. Uh, did I get another one? No, it's you here. That dude. 
Arch okay, that's dark attribute. Too far down. Uh, this guy's effect is dumb. Increase three th increases three thousand life points. Wait, what? What is that wording? Increase three thousand life points. Why would they write it that way? When this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you lose five thousand life points. Why does this card exist? Who, who wrote this? Aside from the wording at the beginning, who wants to use this effect ever? Maybe self-destruct button actually probably would want to do that, but um, that is such a like an old ass Yu-Gi-Oh card with such a Y effect. Send it to the opponent, I suppose. But was that really a, a thing? Like, were there many cards that could even do that outside of like creature swap? If you banish it, you keep the three K. I suppose that's true, yeah. Uh, did I get anything else here? What's this? Sacred Crane. When this card is special summoned, the controller of this card draws one card. I mean, I could call the Haunted that, I suppose, but I need more stuff first. Okay, that's this is an improvement. Let's sort by card frame. A little bit more on the monster side now. I feel like I should get rid of something and put in sol like at least one solar ray. I'm gonna be silly and I'm gonna get rid of this and just run Axe of Despair instead. Watch me. Watch me be silly. I'm such a silly teddy chat. Uh, MRS Solar Ray. Yeah, I'm gonna be silly and go for the burn. Feel the burn chat. Um, this is better. Trademark. <laughs> Hydrate posture check. Yep. Okay, there's all this. Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch. Wouldn't hurt to have a second copy of this bad boy. It is, in fact, a better deck now, possibly. Okay, let's go beat up more people. Since it's Friday, it's the only day that I can buy the light, uh, the light stuff. Let's try outside Obelisk Blue. Actually, this is probably one of the worst places I could be dueling with uh, my janky, incomplete deck. How about the Yellow Dorm? How about that? Why are you here? Absolute spell defense. I've lost to this guy. I don't remember what he did. Slugging Saturn. I don't recall what this is. Perfect timing. I was looking for someone to duel. Let's get. Let's ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Oops. Fix my seat here. Light. Zolga, when you tribute summon a monster by tributing this card, increase the life points the player who control this card by 2,000 points. Okay. Now let's bring this up. Darn, no Cyber Dragon. Hmm. Not the best assortment of stuff here, is there? Draining Shield. Okay, he's gonna be Life Point Ganon. He's gonna be one of those guys. Uh-oh. If your life points are higher than your opponent's life points, activate this card. It's effect by tributing this card from your side of the field. Inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to the difference between you and your opponent's life points. If Sanctuary in the Sky is not on the field, this effect is not applied. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Choking on my own oxygen, talking. When you activate this effect, you cannot conduct your battle phase this turn. What if I just said no? Because I don't want you to destroy my monster. I know you don't have your field spell to do the thing, but I don't want you to have your monster because I can just say no. No. My turn. Well, now I have two witches. 
What if I gave one of the witches an axe? But I don't know what his face down is. He could have more draining shields, so I probably shouldn't tempt him. Hey. Alright, he had nothing that time. Hey, there's Sanctuary in the sky. Battle damage to a controller of Fairy-type monster from a battle involving Fairy-type monster becomes zero. Just wait. Agent of Force Mars. Hang on a second. This card is unaffected by any spell cards while the Sanctuary in the sky is on your side of the field and your life points are higher than your opponent's life points. Increase the active defense of this card by the difference between you and your opponent's life points. Okay. Wait. Unaffected by any spell cards. Period. While Sanctuary in the Sky is on your side of the field. I guess, technically, by that wording, Sanctuary in the Sky affects it. Right? This is fine. Alright, no problem. You know why it's no problem? Because even though he's got that, I have an axe. Hang on a second. Become zero. Yeah, you take no battle damage. That's fine. Yeah, so the feeling your life points are higher than your opponents. Increase stack defense to this card. Difference between you and your opponent's life points. Oh. Oh, it's normal attack and defense is zero. I understand now. I understand. Well, I can just beat over it with uh, an axe and the axe then. So, just making sure I understand it properly. I can also just do this. Hmm, now. To decrease the difference and make it even weaker. Will we have an out for that? No. Okay, so I don't need the axe anymore in case he's got another uh, shenanigan to play. I should be okay, I hope. There we go. Dark Witch counts as a fairy for myself, so I get a ben the benefit of his field spell too, I guess. Power Bond, I can't use it. Man. I need- I need Polly and Blue Eyes before I'm gonna get any utility out of fusions. Best I can do is just future fusion something stupidly. Alright then. I think I'll be okay? Oh, Marshmallow. You scum. This card is not destroyed as a result of battle. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. I need my Monarch now. Well, now there's that. It's fine. I've got an axe. I've got an axe. Oh, there's a board. Hang on. Life points are trying to turn this card. Okay, tribute the card to do that. Alright, so I'm not going to worry about anything else there, then. Yep, so we're going to sacrifice you. Put down the Thunder Monarch. I noticed that it, said, it doesn't say you can destroy one monster. I have to destroy something. So if it's the only thing on the field when I do this, I have to destroy itself. That's going to suck. And since I attributed this turn, we'll activate Last Will. And we're gonna activate that. I'm gonna bring out Hoshengen. And put it in attack mode. Everybody else gets buffed. I can give Hoshengen an axe and it'll look extra silly with those shoes. 
I should- I have enough to win right now, though. Let's see what he does. Attack with the weakest, see how the AI does. Finish him. Got him. 244. Was not worth it. Dang, I thought I had you there, but I lost. Challenge me again anytime. Star with boots. Boot star. Back to the classroom. For you. You guy. Total destruction. Clown Brigade. Yeah, sure, let's duel this guy. Duel, of course, I'd love to. Are you ready? Let's duel. It's a draw. Try again. Try another. As they say. Hmm. Pardon me. Cough messed me up. It snuck up on me so badly. Send in the clowns, they said. Ooh. Whiptail crow. Ooh. Settle down there, boy. I'm not gonna know what to do against that. Special summon you. Then I can do this. Zaborg the Thunder Monarch arrives, and it destroys you! Bada-bing, bada-boom. Now let's hit that Sakuretsu armor. Hey, there's nothing. Doesn't say face up monster, does it? Hey, just destroy one monster in general. Alright, now I'm gonna summon... Oh, Hoshin, uh... Wait, no, it doesn't say Hoshin again. It says Ho Shining again. That's... that's a mouthful. Okay. Nothing. I wasn't hopeful. Turn end. Ah, uh, can't do much with that. Gonna put another one down. We'll just call the star Hoshi. There we go, lads. You're ready to go. You don't have your field spell, though. Am I dumb enough to try it again? Yes, I am. Hey, wood clown. What's that? That's a new one. Never seen that before. Just a clown that hides in the trees attacking people. Sounds like a backstory right there. Turn end. Its name literally means star person. got him. Actually, you know what I could do, just for good measure? Just so that face down can't do anything. I just gotta play this again. Alright, now we got him for sure. Mask clown. Too many clowns in his deck. You win! 204. Oh, I lost. You're really good. Let's duel again. Or not. What about you? I've only dueled you once. By the way, did you want something, or are you just admiring me? Oh, did I hit talk? I must have. Duel? That's fine with me. Let's show them the light, chat. The light they see before they die. Second ago. 
first to go. Kinda weird that Star Boy is just Star Boy in English, but this guy is Star Person, but they call them Ho Shining again. <laughs> it's kinda weird. Konami's so weirdly inconsistent with that stuff. Anyway, let's Future Fusion. You ever think about that? That's weird. Is Starboy just called Starboy in English in the Japanese version of the game? Or what? Hmm. Hmm. What if I just use No to flex? I could. I'm gonna put Free the Brave, brave Wanderer on the board. Let's go. What you got? You got nothing, that's what you got. Kaiser Seahorse. Alright. Could just summon Zaborg now and bop that face down. No reason not to. Friday is the only day I can buy the light pack, so I'm just trying to farm points to um, get as many as I can before the day moves on. Looks like I got a good amount of my support, though. So I think this deck will be fine to mess around with for a while. Hang on a second, I can't... No, wait, why would I think I can special summon that? That'll make no sense. Starboy in Japanese is is just, like, uh, actually meant to be Starboy. Like, they write it out in the way they pronounce it, I, is what I mean. I forget what the term is for that. But that's funny. Well, I guess that's that. She got nothing. Her deck is supposed to be with, like, she, like she's supposed to have the Husbando deck. Alright. Chain Thrasher. With that JRPG protagonist. He's gonna save his whole village by beating the big bad. Alright, chat. The only way we can make this more insulting? Let's throw Hoshi on board. And now, 500 on you. It's time to pierce. Ooh, goodbye. And we win again. Well, that worked out. This deck is going surprisingly well for what, I, what I've been able to get available so far. Need too much of that. Not bad, you're pretty good. I'll see you later. Try her again. A duel? You wanna duel with me, Slifer? Oh, you got guts. Alright, let's get him. This deck's kinda fun. Kinda changes out what I was already doing with the water deck, but um, in the case of this, I, it synergizes with my Cyber Dragons, but if I could get, like, Blue Eyes support with this and splash Apollyon, I could easily just get out Fusion Monsters and win with a dumb Beat Stick. Shining Angel could help me get out Kaiba Man for that kind of play as well. Oh, maybe sometime in the future I should make a Red Eyes deck with what's available. I mean, the best I can do is, like, Red Eyes Darkness, but, you know... Still, I love playing that crap back in the mid-2000s. Cyber Jar is just Cyber Jar. So she's already all set up with this, which is annoying. Hmm. This will destroy all the monsters on the field, so I suppose I should just go with Cyber Jar first thing. Because she got, like, that commanding lead. All effects of monsters in the field and defense position are negate. What? Uh oh. But even if I activate Dust Tornado, though, it's already the effect is already active. It doesn't matter if I destroy it. It's about to go to the graveyard. Ha! <sighs> Damn. Damn. That was- she had the specific counter to that specific strat I went for that I don't normally do. 
That's unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. Um, damn, I'm, I'm in trouble now. Best I can do is a shining angel. <laughs> Absolutely red. Go for it. Okay. Okay, face-up attack position. Best I can do is a Hoshi. Soften the blow a little bit. This will fill my light. Uh, this will fill my graveyard with light monsters in case I get any of those other monsters. Damn it! Oh wait, no, I can beat over her with this. What am I saying? And they're both wind. Okay. Let's just put the dark witch down. Show him the light. Oh, friends, welcome. All right. Only by the effect of that. This card's name is always treated as Harpy Lady. What is so cyber about Cyber Harpy Lady? We've been over this before, right? It's because she has the Cyber Bondage Equip spell on, right? I think I think that was the reason. Um, I guess that's that. Yes, yes, okay. There we go. Nowadays, something like Cyber Harpy Lady sounds like they'd, it'd be the name of a VTuber. Uh, you already paid the cost. I may as well just get rid of it and bop your monster. When there's more Harpy support, I'd like to play a Harpy deck again. That could be fun. Follow wind. Winged beast monster increases by... Damn. Is that... No, 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 stop that. Stop that. What are you doing? You're not supposed to play those. Those are bad. Are you kidding me? You're joking. You're joking. Wow. 100 just over. What is Jasmine doing to me? This is humiliating. All right, then. <laughs> oh, boy. I could really use to draw Cyber Dragon right now. I'm gonna get killed. Damn. She read me perfectly with that Gorgon's Eye, and then she used two Gen 1 Yu-Gi-Oh spells. Oh, damn. Uh, wait, I can't activate this. Oh, right, it has to be on the field to count as Cyber Dragon. So I can put down Cyber Twin, which would be buffed by Luminous Spark, and it would be able to easily beat over you, right? I'm just drawing a blank on what its thing is. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Alternatively, I could just special summon them both and do that, but... The thing that worries me is her face down. Let's be real. She's probably going to have, like, Torrential Tribute or something. I say... The problem with Power Bond, it, was a, it would kill me at the end of the turn. That's the issue. I, I forgot about that part. Yeah, I can't do that. So I need... I'm going to have to special summon you. And, um... Yeah, this is why I want Polly and not Power Bond, because Power Bond can't help me when I'm low on life points. Uh, hang on, 500. So I can beat over her. I'm just worried about her face down, because I know she's going to have a stupid out for this. Let's hope. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh is fun, friend. Hope you enjoy it. I know the twins attack twice, but I can't win on that turn with that. It's not going to go well for me, I'm pretty sure. The problem is if she blocks even- if she stops you from attacking with, like, Waboku or something, I just die. But if I do it this way, I still have a chance next turn. That's the problem. I'm going to take all the damn damage there. Okay, so you're at that. Don't flip anything up, Jasmine. I'm tired of your crap now. Alright. We're good. She didn't have any face down. And now she's got no cards. I got her. At the end of the turn, I'm gonna take up I'll take a bunch of damage from using Power Bond, yeah. I think it's based on the original attack, was it? Uh special summon that monster. 
The attack of this special summon fusion monster by an amount equal to the attack. During the end phase of the turn, the player who activated this card takes damage equal to the original attack of the special summon monster. So I would have taken uh, 2,800, and that would have killed me if I couldn't win in one turn. If she disrupted me even once. I suppose I may as well throw you down. Uh, set Shadow Spell. I'm not gonna take any chances. Harpy Girl. Oh, that's nothing. You're out of cards. Yep, yep. Let me switch seats here. Fix my seat, rather. Okay. Harpy's brother. Yeah, go ahead. You really thought putting that on the field was gonna help you. No, that's true. I could use Cyber Curing to just stop effect damage, which is Power Bond's cost. But again, that's a, that's a lot of cards I'm gonna have to just happen to have in my hand to use. I'm gonna need Power Bond, the materials and to have Cyber Curing on the field, was it? Or can I use its effect from the hand? I feel like that's not gonna be consistent enough to wanna use. Let's get her. Get her ass. Overkill time. It's, it's field tribute? Yeah, that's an even other thing. Plus, there's the fact I might have to have Proto on the field to make full use of it as well. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. It has to be luck. That's not enough. Now get lost. Alright, she took that loss gracefully. Star with Boots is winning every duel now. Not really giving a lot of sandwiches today, have I? Hide, sinking strength. Eh, why not? Let's duel this guy, too. Change the record here from 50-50. Second to go, first to go. Forgot I had to hit the button on that. Okay... Cyber Jar really doesn't do a whole lot for me in this deck anymore, does it? Hmm. Could use this just to get a bunch of things, but that can also help him. Probably should wait until I'm backed into a corner with that. I don't know. Shadow Spill. If that's the case, maybe I should just bait the attack. I'll do that. Oh, that thing. Wait, was he the skill drain guy? Uh-oh. That might be a problem. I can't remember if he was the dude with skill drain. Yeah, he's the dude with skill drain. I think that, uh, that pretty much, uh, fixes it. Alright, now what do we got here? Now he's at that much. <sighs> I need my field spell. Crap, crap, crap. Problem with crashing into him is that he could just, uh... And now Cyber Jar is virtually freaking useless. This is kind of a problem. I don't have any spells, I gotta wait now. I still have a copy of Mobius in my deck. Maybe I can draw it. No, just draw another normal monster. He doesn't seem to have us his monsters, though. Let's... Oh, okay. Better you than uh, Mobius. Let's go. Ooh, Mobius. Okay, right, let's go. Alright, activate the effect. Yes. Destroy that. 
And I want to say this one. You piece of garbage. You destroyed my monster. I still got rid of skill got rid of skill drain. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. So his his attack power stays at that? That's how that works? Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. He gets his original, original attack. Crap. Okay. He's got nothing. I need a refresh in my hand as well, but the problem is... I mean, I can crash my Cyber Dragon into his, but then it leaves me wide open. What if he- what if he just does something stupid? I need to refresh my hand. I feel like this will be more for me. I need to do this before he sets up another skill drain. Okay, he doesn't got it. You? Okay, I have Acts of Despair. I have Acts of Despair. I have Acts of Despair. I can just... How about I just put you on the field with the Axe and we get rid of that monster and start the beat down? I hope. Is Bottomless at three? I'm assuming it is. Alright, I'm gonna give my homunculus that. Why is it? Oh, right. It's the, uh, right. It has the symbol because of skill drain, of course. What's your other face down's gonna be, Hyde? You scum. Hmm. Hang on a second. Say face up. One monster side of the field. Yes. Morphing Jar is useless now, so there's no other reason. May as well do this so I have a chance of beating over him next turn. This man is stalling the crap out of me until he gets his monsters. Ugh. Alright, let's try this again. Hang on, I can't use my effect because of that. Depends on if he's got to have the Sakuretsu armor. Watch him have another coffee face down. You know what? Sure. Sure, I'll do it again. You can't possibly have a third one ready for that. <laughs> Man's got all his multiple copies stacked on the top. Could just summon Cyber right now, in case he summons something and tries to hit me. Let's go. Oh, goody! Shouldn't have did that then. Thought he'd only have another one of those things. Well, I probably lost. I shouldn't have summoned Cyber. I should have waited. Cyber Jar is not going to be able to do anything, but it's... Just stall. Just stall. Should have waited, then I could have just beat over him. Yeah, yeah, I know, buddy. I know. That Shadow Spell is keeping me alive this whole damn time. Well, there's that, but I've already lost. It doesn't matter. <laughs> if anything, it just removes them from the deck and makes it faster to kill me. Doesn't matter, I'm already lost. Go ahead, kill me. Kill me! I hate this guy. I don't like this guy at all. I may have lost this time, Mr. Hyde. 
maybe next time I'll get you. Next time. Hmm. What about the main gate? Idle deck one? One? What was this again? Need something? Oh, you wanna have a duel? Sure, show me what you can do. Uh, a second ago, that's what I want. After this one, I should have enough to buy, like, ten more packs of the light stuff. Next player's turn. Okay. I got Hoshi. Mm. If I want a different hand, I kind of do... This, and I'm gonna do this. Alright. I'll take it for next time, it's fine. Box fire. I couldn't uh, put its name the other way, for legal reasons. During the end phase of a turn when this space up card was destroyed as a result of battle, special summon this card from the grave into your side of the field. This card cannot contribute for a tribute summon. Looks like that's almost pretty much what he did. Not exactly, though. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna summon... Hoshi. There we go. Uh-oh, he's got three face-downs. No. Now we have a little problem. At least I can fissure away you. Yeah, you didn't have magic jam or anything like that. YOLO, go for it. Go for it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Will the AI activate anything else if I do nothing? No. Oh, I don't like how he keeps having that many face downs. Not good. Alright, chat. Put a second Hoshi on board. At least I can know my way out of something really destructive now. 2000 Beat Stick Starboy. Alright. That's fine. I don't need to use no on that. It's a pain in the ass. Just stalls him again. He's just wasting his resources. Last will. Okay. Alright, let's give this another try. See what he does. Either the Fire Charmer. Unfortunately for you, I have none of those. Water Charmer. Yeah, he's got a Charmer deck. They're his idols. Get him again! He's almost dead. He's got nothing left to do. I don't need to put you down. Get him, Hoshi. But injection fairy lily. Of course he's got her to her too. Bleh. Your opponent's life points have been reduced to zero. Get out of my face, boy. 201. Trap card bonus. Not a whole lot on that. Versus. I'll be ready for you next time. Okay then. Let's go spend my money on more light packs now. I've been going for a bit, so it's probably a good point to stop, too. Oh, okay, I'm facing her. Thanks for the sub there, friend. Appreciate it. Alright, I can buy 11 of them now. Let's do it. 
Just wanted to do a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh today. So I've got extra to upload on the weekend. Okay, I bought the rest of the box. Let's go. Another Hoshi. I already got three, though. Um, um, um. Well, I didn't see what that was. Another Monarch would be good. Kaiser Seahorse, okay. I can buy the Blue Eyes pack any day of the week, but I can only buy this pack during Fridays. It's all the beckoning light. Another one of those. Another Hoshi. Ah, no Zaborg. Oh well. Made of Moonlight. What's this thing? Super Electromagnetic Voltic Dragon. If you tribute summon this card by tributing one of the following monsters, this card gets the appropriate effect. Battery Man D. Negate the effect of a spell or trap card that targets this card. During battle between the attacking card and defense position monster. Okay, it's piercing damage. Battery Man Double A. Increase the attack of this card by a thousand points. Is Battery Man really a thing I can run in this era? Oh, no, not that. King's Knight, Biomage. Another Kaiser Seahorse. That'll be good for when I get blue eyes and stuff in the deck. Traitor Incarnate, Shining Friendship, Solar Ray. More Solar Ray wouldn't hurt later on, too. I love doing stupid burn damage. Homunculus, the alchemic feeling, being. Bleh, can't talk. I imagine the battery men aren't super great. Electrocute people with bolts of lightning. Exiting the pack thing here. Okay, okay. Battery men don't really exist until 5Ds, huh? Alright, that's fair enough. This is a couple my words here. This is a good point to stop, because I won't have time to finish Clock Tower today. We'll save here. Alright, chat. So that was fun. It's still kind of uh, annoying making progress time-wise, because I really want it to be Friday to mess around with the deck I'm using. And I gotta wait a week again. Tag duels are around the corner, and I want to build this up. Um, I don't mind the light deck, it's kind of fun. I feel like if I could get some more cards for it, it'd be great. I like the idea of getting Blue Eyes in there, because that way I can synergize it with Kaiser Seahorse, and I have more fu- when I get Polymerization, I have more fusion options, with, like, Cyber Dragon and Blue Eyes being in there. It probably won't be- in won't be super consistent. There's gonna be a lot of opportunities to brick, but that's okay. It's- it's fun to just mi uh, mix up what kind of decks to use. I gotta mess around with the cards a bit. I might as well, since they're available to me. As much as I love the burn deck and the uh, water deck, I feel like I gotta take breaks from other ones, even if they're not all completely consistent here. Yeah, Kaiba Man was something I wanted to splash in with that as well. Should work pretty good. Should work pretty good. Anyways, this is where we're gonna stop this part. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, we're gonna switch games here on Twitch, but for YouTube, have a good night. Bye-bye.